that we have all the technical glitches taken care of. Today is Saturday in the Northern Hemisphere, March 11th, 2023. And in the Southern Hemisphere, it's March 12th, 2023. My name is Deb Purcell, and this is Rick Purcell. And we are here with our colleague, Philip Barrow. We are all healers. And this is the Australian healing webinar. Rick and I have started this journey of healing about six or seven years ago when Rick's energy merged with Source, Creator, God, whatever name you choose to give him. Um, and he started seeing orbs and angels and fairies and dead people and a lot of different beings walking through our bedroom at night, cowboys, lots of things started uh, appearing and walking and joining us in bed. Um, and uh, I started getting downloads when he would just tell me somebody wasn't feeling well that he had uh, he was working with or he ran into and uh, he would call me and I started getting diagnoses and I have no medical background and that's when we uh, realized um, that uh, we were healers and all started from that and our angels and our guides and creator teach us every time they give me instructions they tell me what's going on and, and he shows me and I see what's inside your body I see what's being healed and I tell you as it's going on Rick is the actual healer it's his energy coming from source and I just get the details and that's where we are in future yeah. uh, yes we see past lives we see future and we can tell if somebody's lying to us um, these are all wonderful gifts that uh, we have mm -hmm. in this journey and we work with Philip Barrow in the UK. Um, well, <laughs> it's Sunday already. That went quick. Yeah, it's Sunday for you, Phil. I don't know. Uh, yeah, everyone knows, well, most of you know, I've been, I started healing at five year old, uh, healing my pet goldfish called over it. Uh, I, was, I was doing tarot cards from six, so that was not bad. And oracle cards, I forgot I did them. I stopped doing them about 12 or 13, but I do them now for this event. Um, I always think that the journey changes so rapidly. These events, things come up that we've never done before. Uh, and I think if you see the Facebook, at, uh, I've got a lovely picture of me uh, partially merging with a, uh, a Lemurian uh Ela and i think her name is sario or something like that i'm, I'm not 100 percent yeah i'm still finding that out yeah david said i'd look i'd suit a dress and i think uh, sophie said i'd suit pink so <laughs> so I, I get the jokes but uh one of the healers actually saw me shapeshift into that person and it was quite she said it was she doesn't get shot she was quite wow and uh, I actually, you feel feminine. It's very, very strange. You, you, uh, I only want to partially merge with that. So every the journey changes frequently, and uh, it's mad. It really is. Uh, so I, I'm on my new computer now, and it's working. So that's why I had my backup just in case. <laughs> <laughs> so I even had my phone here just in case. I had three backups. But uh, yeah, the, the computer fried last uh, Sunday. And it took a few years of me accounts with me. So I've got a lot of work to do. So over to you, Linda. Okay. All right. Would you like me to read the first one? Yes. Okay. So Nina, yes, she would. I would enjoy connecting with my energy to see what ha what has been causing me pain. Demons, reptilians, etc. Any implants, cords, or AI. Thank you. That's Nina. Yeah. Uh, hi, Nina. You're on mute, by the way. Hi. Hi. Do you feel like something is inside of you? Yeah. Because mm, I feel it too. Yeah, I feel something on the back, actually. Yeah, it's like, so just like a quick rundown, I was told because of aspects I've had as a reptilian, I have this reptilian DNA that I have to transmute by doing like indigo blue flames and um, transmuting it because that's how they're tapping in. But I've also, I know I've had another energy around me that kind of comes and goes or hides and there's like a, a portal in my kitchen and I don't know if it's closed yet um, but anytime I, I get like intrusive thoughts of these entities and names and images like all this energy comes in like it's trying to feed off my fear um, so I try to push it. DNA. 
No, you don't work like that. <laughs> you'll, have, you could, you'll have an aspect of reptilian, but it'd be, in your, it'd be in your over soul. It can't bring back your DNA and turn you into DNA. Yeah, that can't happen. I had a lifetime as a reptilian, but that doesn't mean my, de- my but, DNA. Was that this one? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry. That's a like not all of my DNA, but like a you know, like a helix, like a it, no. It, understand something. Don't let people tell you things that go inside of you. You know the truth, okay? You do, but your DNA is specific to you. It has nothing to do with past lives. It has nothing to do with with any of that. This this part of you, your soul, is your soul. The DNA in this human body I mean, is, has nothing to do with reptilians or uh, Palladians or anything like that in past lives. It's it's all you. Understand? Don't don't let someone tell you oh, you've got reptilian DNA. <laughs> yeah, your, your oversoul has like got twelve parts, and your oversoul has got all like all your experiences, and, and reptilian would have been one of them. To actually, it won't change your DNA. They could possibly you could have energy of it. Because that's the way it is, but uh, it yeah, won't change it's not the DNA. Controlling you. Yeah. But, and, and unfortunately, I mean, sometimes you can have something enter into your enter you, but it's that's that's totally different. So let's. I don't want you getting confused. You have parasites. They're spiritual parasites. You have implants. Have you had any? Um, Thinking about the ornamental field. Juice. Mm-mm. Okay. Uh, I don't. What, what I am picking up, you might have some energy, rept, uh, reptilian. I think it's trauma as a past life. I think you've got past life trauma. And picking that energy, it's that it won't change you. It can't. It's just impossible. Unless you have the thing, it won't change you. Uh, it's like trauma. That's what I'm picking up, Deb. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot going on with you, top of your back. In my head, I mean, it's constantly like my ears are popping. There's pressure all around my crown, the back of my head. And then like my higher self, she'll sometimes like tickle my foot for confirmation. And now something has caught on to that. And now it's trying to do that to my left foot and like all kinds of sensations, like constantly throughout my body trying to confuse me. Yeah, the the implants, the implants can uh, give you messages and give you and confuse you. It's the implants that be doing that. Uh, definitely reptilian. Um, Draco. Hmm? Yeah, Draco. Okay. I know no no way how an implant could actually change your DNA. I don't think that's possible. No. Uh, Are you able to see where they're at? It, it, you know, they're, well, they're, visit visit the place. That's that's what I do see. <laughs> they're doing um, they're doing like a trick though to make you feel like trick, they yeah. are. What we do best. Right. I can I'll, see your confusion. I'm in the somebody else's confusion is though. You might feel this energy, by the way. Yeah. Do your feet sometimes feel like they've got lead in them? Um, I've been having just like so many weird feelings in my feet that it, I don't know. Because I, I just, they're showing me like you've got concrete shoes on. Heavy, yeah. Like you're like they're weighing you down. Like they're keeping you. Your arms too. Like they've got weights on your arms and your feet. Yeah. Something going on with her blood. Something's making me like very dizzy all the time, especially when I've been down. I've been going through dizzy. I'm really busy. I have gotten vertigo the last two weeks. That's really, really. I think it's just the energies. Before I've had it for months though. And um, it's like I can feel something. I just don't. Okay. Well, I can tell you that they're, they're sucking the energy out of you. Mm-hmm. These uh these beings, I've only seen them once. We've got like energy suckers and the, you know, we've got like mouths and they've got mouths with little tentacles coming out in, and they're purple. So I always think of it like a reptilian demon, but they're not. But I just don't know what the name is. This is the first time we saw them. Was what the week before last? I had a picture. I've got a picture of them a few years ago. I don't know if it's the implants or not, but it continuously wakes me up, so I'm getting no sleep. Like, I mean, I'll fall asleep and it'll jerk me really hard constantly. Yeah. We're taking the implants out now. Thank you. We've got rid of the other side, if you know what I mean. Well, we destroyed the IT, the plasma tech. You're going to feel so much better. You're going to feel like you. 
this healing is going to stay with you for the next seven days and every day that goes by you're going to feel more and more strong or more uh, um, i can't wait <laughs> I'm so thankful. In the next 24 to 48 hours, you're going to be back to normal. But just know that this is going to continue, this healing. Drink a lot of water. As you're drinking the water, put a picture of love in the water. And as you're drinking it, that love is going inside. And food. Yes, your food too. Can um, like family members that have had the the stick, can they, that, can that come off of them? No. Just keep your vibration high. You'll be fine. And we're around people all the time that are juiced up yeah <laughs> yeah it, everybody around us are juiced up can you feel that energy Nina? i feel a lot of energy but i and i feel like it's like like they're still messing with my foot over here and uh yeah that, that could be us uh taking is yeah, a tracker yeah, in your foot we just take it out your, yeah trackers yeah. in your feet so that's they're, they're getting removed <laughs> they're not gonna be able to track you anymore <laughs> yeah my head feels very very heavy that's your normal head now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, your, that's your head with uh, just your stuff in it. No more of their stuff. Uh, just, I'm getting really dizzy now. Okay. You may have a couple of nights of downloads. They're going to try and catch up with you. Okay. You've got some expansions that uh, they've been waiting to give you. They can't do it without, um, when you had these implants. You've got three portals where you live. Since the other end of those portals are no more, so we, ju we can just close them. The other end has been destroyed, so there's nothing that's going to come through them. But uh, they need to be closed up. Every time I walk past my kitchen in the uh, laundry area, it's so dense and I get really dizzy. Yeah, that's where your portals yeah, were. That should change. There was one in your bedroom, too. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to close the portals or are you going to do it? Yeah, no? you can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just, really. How do you feel now? Um, <laughs> it, I'm just, I'm really dizzy. My head is just like really dizzy. It's a bit like an operation, to be honest. Yeah. When you're removing stuff. I'm just going to send you some healing. My heart is just racing so fast. I, I brought down some energy from, uh, I had your higher self bring down some energy as well. You know, I can see a silver white aura coming off you. I think you're an angelic, actually. Which is why they want her. Yeah, this has been going on uh, since like February 2nd. <laughs> Are you a healer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you're, you're an aspect of Raphael. I am. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering that today. That is so weird that you said that. <laughs> I can actually see the energy coming out of you. If, if anyone wants to see it, just squint your eyes. Do a bit of scrying. You can actually see like a glow coming out of you. I can see it. You look so much better than when we started. I'm feeling, but I haven't, I feel like I couldn't like even smile, you know? Yeah. You're smiling now. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, Phil is an aspect of uh, Raphael as well. Yeah, I knew that. That's, that's Am I? I didn't know that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, and so are you. Thank you for letting me know that. You're welcome. So now it's time for you to start getting to work too. As soon as you've yes, I haven't been working. I haven't been doing anything. I didn't want to put off, you know, bad energy to anyone else. That's why they were trying to cripple you. Now you're fine. Thank you so much. Portals are closed. Do you want a card, by the way, oracle card? Yes. Just say stop and. We'll see what the cards advise about our, what's just happened out of you. So, miracles and balance. <laughs> the miracles, you may feel you need a miracle. Let Source show you the path to resolve any situation and balance. You know, I know you're busy. If you need any help, just ask. Them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay, next we have Linda, please. I can't see your message, Linda, but maybe you can explain to your Rick and Deb what you'd like done. Hello. Nice yeah. to join you again. Yeah, I just um, requesting a, a scan and your magic, whatever you, you got. Hmm. Oh. You got a blockage in the 
back of the head here, the neck area. That's where, um, why do you have a blockage there? There's like an energy block. It's like, it's like there's a piece of tape over it, Phil. Mm -hmm. That's where you get your messages. That's like your psychic abilities right back there. The block. It's like right somebody put a piece of tape over it, like um, duct tape. Mm. I mean, I, I could just peel it off. But who did it? But why? <gasps> Father said you did it. Why are you Why are you putting a block on there? Me? Yeah. I don't know. I'm. You don't trust yourself. No. That's your block. You don't trust yourself, your own intuition, your own messages. Mm. That's correct. Well, I'm going to take the tape off, and I'm going to ask you to. Before, it took me a while to trust too. Once I did, it was so great. It really did. It was great. Once I relaxed and started trusting the messages, it was nonstop. Then I started feeling all the energies and I started knowing who was next to me. I knew my mother was there. Dead people started talking to me. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, relatives. My mother-in-law, my father-in-law, my sister-in-law had passed on. They'd been gone for 15 years. That was nice stuff. I mean, really good stuff started happening. And not just Jesus was talking to me and Archangel Michael, but I mean, people that I love that had gone on. Those are nice things that can happen. I want it. I just, yeah. But you're not trusting you. And Is I'm not sitting still enough and listening and, can't, yeah, tuning in. So it's not even healing that you need. It's, it's a message from creator. Start listening to yourself, to the messages that you're getting. Trusting that you can do this. That it's way past time for you to relax and just let it flow. Let all the answers come. Just put your hand on, on your heart and just breathe. Do the, the breaths yeah. in through the nose and out through the mouth. Relax, connect. Connect means just connect to your heart because that's the tool chest. And trust, you're going to get your answers. You're going to get your, you're going to get your, all the responses you need are going to come. And know that those are the answers. Those are the answers to your questions. It's going to sound like your voice, but it's coming from them, whoever you're asking the question of. It will sound like you. You're not going to hear a voice in your ear. You're going to hear your own voice. But it's not something you would say. It's something they're saying. Yeah. Answers don't come when you're not asking them all. Yeah. Hey, can, I, can I say something? If you were yeah. meeting someone in the street and, you, and they said hello and you ignored them, would they say hello again? And that's the same in the spirit world. If they're trying to contact you and they're ignoring them because you don't believe the message, are they going to make that effort again? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh. He says, you trust that I love you. Why won't you trust that I'm talking to you? Why are you, are you feeling his heat? Because he is what he does heat us up. <laughs> as soon as we started, I just felt the angel bump fall over the <laughs> I'm pretty warm too. <laughs> oh. He's sending you some uh, energy that's just pure love. I don't know if you can feel it because he just gave me that message. I don't feel it because he's not sending it to me. He's only sending it to you. It's You're only going to feel it in, his, in your heart. And he's saying, I love you. Mm -hmm. Don't forget how perfect you are. So don't think that uh, I don't think that you are perfect. I just want you to hear me when I respond to you. Know that it is me talking to you. So you must have been talking to him <laughs> at some point. I do, yeah. <laughs> no, no. That is your message. Listen, Linda, listen. Well, all he did was show me that there was a piece of tape over your, that you put there. Now it's gone. You don't need healing. You just need to listen to your own self. Yeah, I know I have fears of what's going to come through because I hear so much. <sighs> I, of what they nothing, say, whoever they are. Absolutely, it's absolutely nothing to be afraid of. We've been through this so many times. What are you afraid of? <laughs> All those dark entities that are going to come at you and want it. Uh, oh no! That so many talk about. No, no. You you can say to Archangel Michael, they say, okay, Archangel Michael. The only messages that I want to hear and, and to connect with me are, are messages from the light. Yeah, yeah, I'm in agreement with him. I only channel messages from the light. I don't channel messages from, but now, now, as far as healing goes, I didn't specify that I only want to do this. I only want to heal people that uh, need healing from sickness. I didn't say anything about demons. <laughs> so obviously, <laughs> I'm needing for this stuff too <laughs> with, with Phil. 
I didn't make that message clear. I didn't even know I was going to be able to do this stuff. <laughs> Can you see anything in my feet or tell me about my feet? I did get some pain out of your back and top of your neck, I think, as well. But that could be the blockage because your input is normally in the back of your neck. But, yeah. Do you? I can't see it. Do you get cramping in your feet? Yeah, I don't know. I think about maybe diabetes or something because... Don't especially manifest if it. I lay down oh. at night, my feet just kind of feel numb at times. I yeah, don't manifest diabetes. So. Yeah, my feet are really hard to keep warm, even with heavy socks and boots. And it's... When, when do they go cold? Anytime. Pardon or me. All the time. When are they cold? The uh, your your feet. My Cir feet. Circulation. Yeah. Check it. We gotta check. Yeah. When I'm when I'm out. I mean, it's winter, and when I'm out. I'm out rallying and stuff, and yeah, I, I don't last long out in the cold. I need Florida. That's where we're moving to. <laughs> well, see you there. <laughs> what, you, what you could be doing, you could be manifesting it. You could be expecting it to happen, so it happens. Expect it not to happen, or tell your brain to circulate better, yeah? Program your brain a bit better. Thank you. you just close your eyes and just say, you know, you're not doing your job right, sort out my feet. Yeah. I'm not getting diabetes, by the way. The doctor said to me three years ago I could get I could be diabetes and I didn't change anything. I just ignored it. Yeah. I've just uh, just done something with your blueprint. It might be better now. I've actually changed your blueprint a little bit. I'll get in wow. trouble again. Thank you. In your eleventh chakra. I just I got the book rubbed it out and just said, uh, circulation's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll get in trouble for that. Mm. Got two cards, by the way. Yes, please. Just say stop. Stop. You know, I've been shuffling them and I've just got the same. I'm going to do them again. Miracles and balance. And you know what they mean. Let's give you another two. Just say stop there. Stop. Ah, that's more like it. Yeah, I get that. Surrender and release. Yeah. So stop hanging on the worries. The worries of not not of the messages you're being given. Don't hang on to them. And you you are you are being guided. Uh, you're being guided. Just follow your intuition. Yeah. So these messages are guiding you, and you're you're ignoring. All oh, that tape off now, maybe. Oh. All right. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Brian. I also couldn't see his message, so that's please. all right. How are you, Judy? Yeah, yeah. I okay. think when you log on, you can't see the ones above you when you log on. Which is, but, um, yeah, how are you guys going? Hey, eh? good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brian's a regular. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see. Let's go. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I see Chewie from Star Wars. Wow. I do. I see Chewie from Star Wars. Chewbacca. Were you with him last night? Yeah, I was in a school learning. Um, and I was like a, a child and uh, learning. And there was a teddy bear that I looked at that was had my name on it. Was it Chewbacca? <laughs> well, I don't know. I made it. I made it myself. I remember oh. that. What about the night before? Well, there was, I don't know, the night before. I do have a lot of dreams about having like this gum inside my tongue or whatever. I'm trying to pull it out. And the night before that, I had a fishing line that I was trying to pull out of my throat. And it was pulling my insides, like my, my throat on the inside. And I couldn't pull the, the, it was like a fishing line out of my, my mouth. And um, it was hurting. And it felt like some kind of, um, yeah. Hmm. Sounds like a message to you, actually. Do you speak a lot of the truth or do you keep quiet a lot? I keep Your quiet. Truth. Yeah, that's what it is. Fishing line is take the fishing line out. Speak your truth and annoy people. <laughs> I'm trying to, but it was hurting my body. It was hurting my, my organs. Like it, was, it was hurting me. I, I would never have one of those because Rick's always telling me, can you stop speaking your truth? <laughs> <laughs> you need one of them, then. <laughs> No, I Very need painful. A I need a zipper. <laughs> I don't see anything. I don't see I, see, I just see Chewbacca. That's very good. I'm happy. 
I feel pretty good. He's just walking behind you with his hand, his paw on your, I guess it's his paw on your shoulder, I'm walking with you. You're like in Star Wars. Yeah, I feel like that, eh? Hey? I'll say it's benevolent. A lot of Star Wars is real. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a, an Akashic record any, reading, yeah, isn't it? I don't see any. Um... So he's benevolent, that guy. Yeah. He's like, he's like what, what are those dudes in the forest that go? It, so, it sounds like a friend, past life friend, or an aspect. It could be an aspect of yours quite easily. Like, like he's one of your guides. Oh, he's an aspect. Yeah. Can you well, speak? Uh, can you speak that language? <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Probably some kind of light language. But I feel like I had ants all over me all night. Like I had ants all over me. I didn't see them. Probably his tits. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't get anything from that. Just say stop. Oh, right. I'll give you two cards. Stop. My first time, Ryan, that we haven't had to clean you up. <laughs> good Thank you. That's easy, but I was just monitoring. Yeah, I'm, uh, I feel like I'm doing good. Dreams. <laughs> yeah. How surprising, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all it is for me. <laughs> You're being sent messages in your dreams. Keep a pen next to, next yeah, to it. It's got so... manifestation. So mm. your plans may change, but you will see... Peace and happiness on the way, but manifestation. Eh? Yeah, I'm just about logging. I got a book there, but I don't do it. I put the lo- a book. I put a book there, but I just got to write in it. So I remember more. You can write you. a book. I'm probably good with all the crazy dreams. You could write a book. Chapter one: Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ryan Wars. Oh, cheers for that. <laughs> yeah, Orion. Orion Wars. Here we his all text. Right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Cheers for that. Okay, Okay, next we have Raven. Just read Raven's message. Uh, Interested in a scan and healing, please. That's for Raven. Raven? Don't think. She's gone. Think we got. So next, I think, is Iana or Lana. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. That's me. I would love anything you see that would benefit humanity, please. Being drawn is something on your neck, by the way. So I'm being drawn. You have something. You, you have something new going on in your life. Um, not as yet. No. You have a new <laughs> angel. Her name is Constanza. <laughs> Write that down. You have um, cause she's new for something that's changing. She's there to help you through a change. A guide or an angel? Angel. And yes, by the way, I do have something attached to my neck. I don't know what it is, but I do have a picture of it. You have a picture of it? Yeah, and it's really ugly looking, really scary looking. Is it, is it, what I was picking, is it between a beetle and a fly? Sort of that sort of. Um, I don't know. It, it's, um, it looks like, um, like an, an Indian headdress, but with a death face in the center of it. And the death face looks like a monkey's face, too. It's really weird looking. Have you got it there? um, I would have to pull it up somewhere in my phone, but I do have it, yes. Okay. I can send it to you. Yeah, you could send it to us. If you sense it now, we could put it on the screen, but it's up to you. Instant Messenger on uh, Facebook. Oh, okay. Do you follow Phil? Um, Or me? I think I just connected today. Um, I received um, something that led me here today to to you guys. And I'm dealing with a few mini strokes and a lot of health issues. So it takes me time to do things. Okay. Have you had the, uh, I'm not even saying the word, we can't say it on YouTube. Are you juiced? Did, did you not at all. Juiced? Not, never. No, uh, not at all. I don't take anything from the system. Yeah, good. I was in a coma in uh, 2012 to 2013, and I feel it's very different that I'm not myself anymore. Mm-hmm. And I've lost all my abilities and capabilities, and no longer can I connect. But what I'm getting, and uh, even though you said that I was getting this with on, the, on your neck, is he, is there some magic going on there? I have a funny feeling that there is, yes. Yeah. Let me explain yeah. something to you. You don't lose your connection. You no, I, I... You're always connected. Okay. The only person that thinks you're not connected is you because if, because of whatever is happening in your life. But you're connected. You would never not be connected. You're still breathing. 
every breath you take, you're connected. Okay. So know that you're always connected. Okay. And believe me, you're connected. Thank you. They could be those that are being manipulated. It's definitely black magic. Sort of thing. Yeah. This is creator talking to you. This is God. You are never disconnected from him. He is never, ever. Your angels, you're not disconnected from them. Your guides, you're not disconnected from them. They're always with you. So no matter what is happening to you, you're always connected. And that's why you're here. That's right. That's why you're here. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, I've been crying out for several years, and I just started um, being able to speak clearly again because I didn't even know who I was when I came out of the coma for three years. So now that I'm praying a lot more and calling in the archangels, I know that they're, they guided me today to you. And I'm so grateful. Yeah, what happened? Why, what, this 2012-13, did anything happen? Any trauma, anything happened at the time? Yes, uh, I had a spontaneous Kundalini awakening that I didn't know what was happening to me. Mm -hmm. And it lasted, I would say, close to a year that it was open. And it caused a lot of issues for the brain. Um, I don't know. I must have fried a lot of different things. And, um, and during that time, also, I believe that I had met what... Um, I was told it was a twin flame, but I really don't know. I had to walk away from this individual um, because I didn't understand what was happening. Yeah, a twin, and, flame, twin flames hardly ever romantic. It's uh, just someone with your keys and your codes. Uh, well, definitely he opened my heart chakra up because I don't think it had ever had been opened up before. Um, just by being in my presence, it, it was not romantic at all. Um, um, but the connection was um, really bizarre. Really what, bizarre. What, what did he do spiritually? What do I do? What did he do? Um, well, we were just sitting, for instance, um, I was on one couch in my living room. He was on another and he was doing NLP work, neuro linguistics uh, practitioner. And he was trying to heal me from past traumas. And before we even started, he had... Um, I guess called in my higher self, an aspect of my higher self, and I saw his an aspect of him, um, not even in the ether. It was in my mind, and um, I turned and said to him, "What a beautiful little picture I'm seeing!" and and he couldn't believe. And then from there, he just started testing me and to see what it is I could see and whatnot. And then he called in Jesus and Mary, and then they stood in front of us, and I couldn't hear anything. Um, I, I just couldn't believe everything that was happening. And then and the same uh, within a few minutes, then he took me flying out of my body and we were flying over green mountains uh, somewhere, I think in Northern BC somewhere. <laughs> and after that experience, um, I started seeing too many things that <clears throat> kind of scared me um, once I wasn't in his presence and uh, I saw a lot of uh, dead people and, and whatnot, and it scared me to the point where I remember at one point, just before I, I went into a coma, I said, I want all of this to stop now. I can't handle it because I don't know what's happening to me. And not only that, I was able to control like the weather and I didn't feel anything anymore. Um, all time stood still and um, I was just in a void. It was so bizarre and so, and I had nobody to talk to. So, and I, before that, I used to do a lot of healing, hands-on healing with Jesus. So I worked a lot with him. And when I came out of the coma seven, seven days later, um, I have not felt myself at all, like myself at all anymore. So I'm scared to open up because I don't know what I'm opening up to. That, that's part of the blockage. Uh, for a minute, I was thinking... Have you given your power away to you, this suspected twin flame? That's what I was expecting there, because you've got to be careful with your own power. Uh, let me check. You'll feel a, a, an energy surge. Is this guy on Facebook that uh, was your twin flame? Yes, his name is Jason Grinham. 
G R I N H A M, Jason. You might see a picture of him sitting with his wife on a turquoise couch, and his wife is of Oriental descent. What was the surname? Sorry, Green. green. A, like he's, he's sitting on a green or a turquoise velour couch. That was the last time I looked at, at a picture. That was a few years back. Yeah. What, what was his surname, Sarah? Grinham. Um, yeah. Wh where is he located? Winnipeg, Manitoba. That's where I'm located. I had a dream two nights ago. I normally have not dreamt since I had come out of the coma. And the dream I had two nights ago was him standing in front of me. And we sat down at a table and he had two cards in his hand. And when he laid on the table and he looked at me and he said, would you move in with me? And he said, the other card I'm going to put away for later. And I just looked at him and I couldn't believe what I was hearing. And I woke up and I, and <laughs> I said, there's no, no possible way. Can you feel that energy, by the way? I can, yes. That's good. So that means you are connected in a way. You haven't blocked everything. I also, when I used to work at a spiritualist church, um, there they taught many different modalities and there were two witches there. Um, I went to a couple of classes learning how to do tarot cards just in the beginning. And they, um, I have a funny feeling that these two women, um, for whatever their own reasons, um, were the ones who had either bound me or put a spell on me because it was this one day that I felt this, energy really nasty energy with me before i had the coma and the next day i went to church and i looked at the two of them and i said oh i'm i'm assuming that it was your friend somebody somebody i said the name and they both looked at each other and they looked fearful and i said well i sent him to the light so he's no longer with me but i can tell that this one person her name is something smith i can't think of the first name right now um that uh that it's her or both of them because i was very connected to jesus and i know that it's not me that was doing the healing but i also know that they were very insecure with me being there yeah i can't find him um i really want to see this guy well he looks a lot like me just like who he looks a lot like me we look a lot alike <laughs> I, I, I'm more interested in these uh, witches than you, your church, this church, your spiritual church. Right? But I, I'm connecting. You'll feel it. I'm on try. I think the skull in the back of the neck. Your neck is your input to your psychic ability and stuff like that. I think that's taking your power. I think it's it's just a. Uh, I don't think they binded it. I think they're actually using it. So get what I mean. So binding it is stopping your power getting out. Putting something there. To take it means they'll get more power. They're getting your power. So I'm going to, I'm going to take that off. In fact, I'm going to visit. Okay. I remember her first name now. It's Nicole. No, sorry. Again, gone. Jeez. Don't worry. It'll be all. Does she have black hair? Yes, she does. Yeah, I'll, have to, I'll connect with her. She's Native American, too. The, the kitties are in here. Move her. Out. 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 Thank you. Stay outside. <laughs> Oliver's like, what the hell? Right. <laughs> Come here. Sorry about that. I've always been such a giving person and I've given a lot of things to a lot of people. And I and I know that these two women I had given clothes. I probably gave other personal items. You know, when somebody wants something, I just give it away. I don't I don't want to hold on to it. So now knowing that to do that is a connection to me and i think that that's how they're they've gotten in your, your energies and your items like the indians say that everything you own is part of you so yeah Thanks. native indians used to say it. that's right in it deb that everything you own is you it's like a one thing i'm connected anyway i'm gonna get rid of it i'll these two out we have uh, 12 native american well they're called the ancestors and they're from the, the star people. 
they're Mayan, they're Native American, and they're, but there are 12 of them around us always. That's wonderful. That's beautiful. I, I love the Native Americans. Yeah. One of my uh, healers here in Canada, his name was Don Cardinal. And unfortunately, he had passed away uh, about 12 years ago. <laughs> and um, an amazing human being. And I haven't been able to connect or smell sage like I used to when I knew that he was around. You have to stop thinking that you're not connected. You are connected. Um, and even Jesus wants you to stop saying that. You are still connected. Okay. Anytime you say his name, he's, he's there. Anytime. Okay. Even if you think you can't feel him, he's still with you. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Nobody can take that away from you. Nobody can take that away from anyone. Well, I know I certainly have lost myself for the past 10, 12 years, and I miss me. You're still there. The only thing you feel anything at the moment. The only thing that is, you're, you're missing the connection to yourself. Yes. You and your connection. Jesus is standing right with you now. You can see him. I feel like a tugging at the back of my neck by my shoulder blade. Yeah. And the tugging... Tugging is coming up like from back in here. That's Philip working on you. What I'm doing, which is, it's not dark. I'm actually taking their energy until they release their connection. It is them. Until they release their connection, I'm taking their life force. They know about it, so they've got to break it. Hello. Did we lose Philip? Hmm? Oh, there. He moved. Do I let me? Do you know, either they smoke or my son sneakily smoking it and it smells on the crystal ball. <laughs> One of the other, I don't know. How do you feel in the back of your neck now? Mm, it's hard to say. Um, it's been such a long time. I'll send you some healing now. Thank you. I notice my voice is changing. <laughs> Hopefully I won't change into the, uh, the Morian. Uh, E-Liver to one of my aspects starts connecting with me a lot. That'd be strange, wouldn't it? <laughs> I was wondering if possibly, too, if anybody might have a message from my mother who passed away four years ago in my arms. Her name is Sylvia. Sylvia is fine. Good, good. Sylvia was, was an angelic. Did you know she was an angel? <laughs> um... Not the way she treated me, no. <laughs> Did not know that. There's a reason why people, angelics, come here for a purpose and experience. She didn't know she was an angel either because we come here without a memory. But her experience, her, her growing up, developed her humanity. So her experience as a child created the way she was in this human, in this experience. Yeah, she came through the Second World War. <laughs> She had a lot, and I understand all of it. So I forgave her, so that's why I was the only child to stay with her till the end. I just want her to know that I loved her, and I always did. Even though I hated her the way she treated me, I still loved her no matter what. Yeah. I just want her to know that. Yeah, well, I'm guessing, and this is what I've been getting, she's been trying to guide you to us. She's the one who's been trying to get you back, Okay. As a try to mend if you have watched how she treated you. Yeah. Thank you. I got a thank you as well. Thank you guys so much. Do you want some oracle cards? Yes, please. Just say stop. Stop. So you need a retreat, uh, a break from your journey to slow and recoup. I think. To recoup, uh, to get back to normal, you just need a break uh, and then study, learn new skills uh, for your growth, for your journey, for your growth. That's it, yeah. Just remember you are connected. Know that um, everything's going to be coming back to you. Everything. Everything. Thank you so much. Through Messenger, I'll send a picture of Jason and the picture of that other thing that was there. Yeah, they just go, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Your mum had a lot of regrets, and that's why she's guided you. She's been, she's been like you, like a guide for you at the moment for the last few couple of, since she died. So she's got unfinished business to get you back on your track. That's what it is. Yeah. Wow, what a blessing! That's 
wonderful to hear, and I'm ever so grateful from the bottom of my heart. I thank you all so very much. You're welcome. So much love to you all. Thank you. How, how do you feel like in your energy? Do you feel like it's coming back now? Yeah, I feel like I'm opening up to who I am, which was filled with so much love and um, healing for everybody. You've got Jesus's hands on your shoulders right now. You've got a lot of um, things that are going to be happening in the next few days. So just and the energy stays with you for seven that Philip put through for you and and the creator put some energy in you. Um, I'm going to you're going to get some downloads. They're going to catch up with some downloads. So a lot of expansion happening in the next week or two. That's that's wonderful. I've been asking so much to be able to catch up, you know, where I was before. And then <laughs> more. is there anything that I can do um, after these seven days to protect myself or these witches won't come back again? Like, will you I won't. be okay from no, them? You or you, you, you got protection on you, but they won't. Yeah. And they've had a warning. They, they, don't, they don't, don't do it back. back. Yeah, and sending, sending that photo of the, the original guy that started all this stuff, I really, Phil and I, I really want to look and see who he is. Yeah, I want to see the skull, definitely. That'll be very yeah. interesting. I most certainly will then. I'll um, figure out how to do that through Messenger. Um, yeah. If maybe you could just say hi on Messenger, so then that way I know how to connect all the rest of it. That would yeah. be wonderful. Are you, are you, in, are you in our group? I am. Um, I I think Philip is the one who sent me the message to come tonight. Oh, okay. Through Facebook. Okay. So I am in the group. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so but much. Them, Thank them, you so much. Yeah, them women. Um, I think it's not quite. It's more more voodoo stuff. It's very really dark stuff. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't know anybody that does that kind of stuff. Uh, I've met a few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially. On, yeah, you, okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll connect again, I'm sure. Thank okay. you so very much again. Have a Thank wonderful you. evening, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next we have Gabrielle and Cindy. Cindy. And the message is I would love a healing scan for myself. Mum would also like a healing scan on my phone. That's Gabrielle Reed and Cindy Jumper. Hello. Hi. Sorry, I just ran to the restroom. <laughs> really bad connection again. Why did they be doing that to me? I don't know. <laughs> Here, let me shut some things off real quick. Oh, is this better? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Okay. I went right to your stomach. What's going on with your stomach? Um, I don't know. I thought maybe my body was just changing what it wanted to eat. Can you um, I have that like weird digestive issue thing like a couple weeks ago or was it last week it was like um, I was experiencing a lot of diarrhea and stuff um, but it's went back to normal but I just kind of feel like ucky it's all red and like your stomach and your intestines are really red I, so <clears throat> remember when I kept having like the issues with the, the yeast infections and stuff, the, I wasn't having that, but it's like my numbers weren't right. And I'm like, why do I keep getting this? Um, like, is there something, anything you guys pick up that I could do or. Did, have you started doing the um, borax? I did. I've kind of slacked off on that though. Um, well, I was doing that. You're only, if you're a slacker, I mean, it's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, because I was doing it in my tea every day, and then I stopped drinking tea. Well, like... you don't, no, you don't do it in tea. You do it in distilled water. Yeah. Distilled water. If you don't do it in distilled water, it's not going to work, honey. You only put okay. a little bit of a juice in it, and the rest it distilled water. That's what I'm drinking here. Okay. And you put a quarter of a teaspoon of, and it's got to be 32 ounces. Of distilled water, okay. a little bit of juice to flavor it, because it doesn't taste good if you just do distilled water. Right. Okay, yeah, that's why I was doing it in the tea. <laughs> yeah, but you have to do distilled water. Okay, very important. Well, too. And you have to keep it up. The only time you do, you don't do it. You do it for a week. Take 
a two days off and then do it a week two days off a week two days off i i don't do yeah you constantly do it it's very good for okay. you do you like grape like grape cran cran ocean spray ocean spray it's okay. cran, 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 yeah. cran grape yeah that's the only thing i can get him to drink <laughs> you, you know okay. i do that i sprinkle it in me coffee <laughs> I just can't be bothered making the solution up. I just bring clay and make up. Double duo. It's, it helps. It does. What you eat, what you put in your body is important. If you're eating a lot of fried foods, if you're eating a lot of sugar, your body's going to tell you. It's, it's, or if you're eating fast food, like if you're eating McDonald's and Burger King, that stuff is going to tear you up. The older you get, the worse it is for you. As you mature, it's only going to make. Yeah, I don't eat out. Because they use the, the kind of oil yeah. they use in these restaurants is really bad for you. And that's when you, you know, you're going to start affecting your your intestines. Even like box food, I think that's where my main thing is like getting frozen stuff out of the frozen section. Because a lot of the time, like we'll eat fresh. I haven't been drawn to eat a lot of meat lately. It's been like a lot of vegetables and a little bit of like turkey. But I think it's certain things. I know yeah. what they're talking about, like the chips, yeah, stuff you like that. Have to be careful. The fast food restaurants industry is just toxic. You got, I know, and I know a lot of people. It's you got to work late and you're exhausted. You're just starving, and you're gonna grab something. It's it's hard. It's hard. Grab yeah. a salad, grab a salad. <laughs> okay. Or go home and eat a tuna fish. I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but it's so much better for you. It really is. It's not worth your intestines and everything else getting like that. It really isn't. So it's nothing spiritual. It's just diet changes I need to make. It's just better for you. It really is. Yeah. yeah. I'm all for it. It's all good. All good, better prep. It's just, it, it, it's what they're putting. They're trying to kill us. <laughs> it's discouraging. Yeah, it's the oils and the... And, it, if you saw what they those oils are made out of, ugh, yeah, the food. yeah, that's the thing. It like starts it's turning. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's really, really awful. My so, stomach's feeling a lot better though. Yeah, because it's being healed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you still got a bit of a bad back as well. Yeah. Yeah, I shifted some of that. You know, I had pain in the arm here. You haven't got pain in the arm there, have you? You haven't had the needle, have you? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Um, I've been like I'm sitting in the chair, but like my arm needs to be like this, so it's kind of like my back's been like compensating. Where I've been taking notes, so uh, yeah, I think that's what that's from. Because I I try to stretch it out. It's like I kind of like, but yeah. Okay. I've got two cars, by the way. Thank you. Say yes, stop. please. Frozen a bit, but just say stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. I've got it. Everyone wants this. New beginnings and freedom. So mm. That's that's pretty good. Embrace all the all the new uh, embrace new opportunities that, that come your way and uh, freedom, eh? Wow. Freedom. You may feel trapped back in prison, but you've got the keys to get out of that prison. Yeah. So it sounds like you got you you're gonna have a change shortly. Hey. That's awesome. I've been looking for a change, like a for a personal like business and like work wise. I've been looking for something. So yeah. and I had something kind of come together the other day, so I'm gonna pursue that. There you go. Yeah. Um one second, let me call mom. Uh, yeah. Hey mom. Hey. 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 Hello, everyone. Hey, Cindy. Hello. What's happening? I'm just having some achy bones in my back. Achy breaky? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Do you have to lift things for at work? Um, not anymore. That's good. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking for a job where I do not. Is it just your? Is it the middle of middle of back and down? Yes, on the the right side. Is it where your kidneys are? No, it's more up like behind under my shoulder blade. Oh, it's really high. Yeah. Um, I lifted uh, one of those five pound Pepsi things to put on the, the 
the top of the lot and uh, the doctor said I ripped my wing muscle. Okay, you should feel some energy there. Also uh, down around your hips, the lower spine and across your hips. Yes. Around your, and then around your root chakra. Yeah. Or down your, on your tailbone area. Yeah, exactly. Quite a lot of pain in the neck, back, sorry. Yes, it's like um, like a stabbing. Uh, Father's guided me to your throat and neck area for healing. I don't know whether you've had a sore throat or feel like there's lumps here. I've had a little bit of nasal congestion the last couple of days. I don't know whether the stripping, but there's, you've got some healing your throat. He's bringing me up to your sinus and your, all through your sinuses, mm -hmm. even into your ears. Mm -hmm. Did you feel that? Yes, I feel much better. Good. That's all I've got. Any more? Okay. No, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Purple looks good on you, by the way. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Be blessed, everyone. Thank you. You don't want to Yes, please. Say stop. Stop. You need some frequency, some music, and mm -hmm. music will make you make the miracles. Eminem. So, yeah, have more music in your life. The frequency help you to get grounded. The miracles, and it'll probably help you back as well. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, ask, uh, if you need a miracle, just ask for one. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Just ask for a miracle. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Harry. You just said. Deb? Yes? Yeah, have you seen that picture? Do no. you want me to show it on here for a few seconds? Yes, quite can share it. Yes, please do. Uh, is that for the man? No, this is what's on the back of the neck. So it was on the back of the neck? Yeah, look at that. Wow. Ooh. Wow. This is the face. Yeah. I put it stop. I've got rid of it, but wow. you know, some voodoo stuff that. Wow. You can even see the face here. Yeah. 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 I see what you mean about it being like a bee, but something else at the same time. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Definitely some bee do rubbish, aren't they? Mm. Okay. It feels a cross between uh, uh, Native Indian, uh, Native Americans and Voodoo. It feels like both. That's a bit strange. Mm. <laughs> uh, I saw two faces there. The big one, which kind of looks like a monkey with a big eyes. And then underneath underneath of the chin area is, and it looks like a man with a beard. There's one there. Mm -hmm. Where's yep. the other? That's like a monkey sort of thing. Where's yeah. the other one? Here. Yeah, yeah. There's one there, isn't there? Oh, there's actually... And it's something there. There's, there's, one, there's, one, faces, there's, there's one here. Hmm? There's one here. There's a few faces. There's yeah. a lot of, a lot of like, uh, not just the one, is there? No. This one here? Hmm. Right, so I'll turn it off then. Never seen out like that before. Mm -hmm. Wow. You get something new every time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next we have for me to be me who would like a scan and healing, please. Hey, everybody. Hi, how are you? Um, right now I'm currently living with a client. So it's been, and I haven't been able to sleep for a couple of days, just trying to relax. He went into hospital, so I'm here taking care of the animals. He's got a security system, so, and he's out in the woods, which I love. I forgot your name. Bonnie. Bonnie. For some reason, Zoom doesn't allow me to change our, my name anymore. Uh, and I can't see the chat anymore either. I have to go look you, at are it. Are you on the phone? No, I'm on my PC. I used to be able to do it, but I can't do it anymore. So yeah. while we were waiting, I was eating pistachios. Yeah, you can tell you're more grounded. That's where you are, isn't it? It grounds your energy a bit. You, you you feel I can feel you better. You got better energy with me. I named you Bonnie. Hmm? Pardon? I renamed you Bonnie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I just said forget it. I'm st I'm terrible with names. So when you I am too. I see too many people. Okay, and Rick kept going. What's her name? Because he writes down notes. <laughs> I'm like I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Deb, when I teach judo, everyone's called you. <laughs> You? <laughs> yeah. And you? And you? <laughs> and in case 
Um, how did she get that? I, I am curious. How did she get that picture? How did they take that picture? I don't know. I don't know. Is she still here? She says, well, she's having healing. She's on a bed, mm -hmm. lying down. No, she's not. And I noticed somebody else asked the same question. I don't so know. I figured when it was my turn, I would ask. <laughs> I am trying to get more grounded. It's just difficult because of the finance, uh, family dynamics here. There's three children. Uh, I don't want to really get into that. I just need to get some sleep. And I don't smoke weed, but I might just have to start <laughs> so I can sleep. So, am I supposed to say that? Maybe not. Okay. So you're not in your own place anymore? Um, no. Um, that whole situation blew up and end of January, February, and I was living in my car. My animals got. I got harassed by the sheriff's department that I was, long story short of it, I had to surrender my animals. They got euthanized and my brother then offered for me to stay with him. I stayed there. That's how I actually, uh, through him, got this connection to do the work with this client as a caretaker, uh, you know, 15 to 20 hours a week. Um, and his situation, he changed his diet stopped drinking and was doing great. However, he's been getting the regular juices and he's now falling down and getting hurt. And I just, he asked me to stay Are you here. you talking about the juices yeah. here? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, he's been doing, he was doing great. Um, so long story short of it, he knew my circumstances and he really wanted me to stay here to help him uh, for multiple reasons not only just spiritual, but regain his strength because he's not local. He's not, he's, I've been with him on his, um, the mental health cognitive and he, he's fully functioning there, but they, when he got hospitalized, it was, um, definitely a, a total different behavior than I'd ever seen before. What are, they weren't keeping him you're dressed. Giving, you're giving him stuff. Yeah. And, um, it took a little while to, um, the three children were his wife's children. She passed a year and a half ago and I don't really want to get involved in the fine family dynamics, but he keeps telling everybody that I'm his wife and I'm here to help him, but that's really not what I'm here for. I correct it. However, he gave me a room and a place to stay and I'm helping him with it, his animals and taking care of the house and stuff like that. That happened three days ago. Well, Tonight will be the third night, but I haven't been able to sleep because he's got security alarms that he didn't get a chance to teach me how it all worked. So I've been kind of finding things out on the fly. Then I found out that the dog has, um, I think, a urinary tract infection, but I don't have, you know, authority to go and take the dog to the vet. It's another caregiver facility or organization that does. So, um, but since he's in the hospital, they can't justify billable hours so it's been interesting to say the least but i want to get a good night's sleep tonight but i forgot about that earlier when i could have gotten some um what is it uh, cbd to smoke or something just so i can sleep because the deers and stuff and the wolves and all the other wildlife come through the gates which is the only one currently that's on and it trips the security alarm <laughs> and that doesn't help when you know or the daughter, stepdaughter, whatever, will call at any time of the day. And it's like, well, just trying to take a bath. I have to shut the phone off. So, and they all know where he is. So why are they calling? Well, I know why she's calling because there's certain things that he has, you know, said. And I'm like, oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> I feel like I went from one hornet's nest to another. However, my brother, um, uh, Interestingly enough, how he found out about everything of me telling my entire family that did do the juices that he, um, I, it was, I can't remember if it was on the session because he didn't agree with what I was doing with you guys. So I'd have to go outside or go in my car. Mm -hmm. The last one, it, he wasn't home. So I did it anyway, yeah. but, um, three days, I would say three days ago or four days ago, um, he was actually watching one of the, it's a new series that came out in 2020. It was filmed in 2021, but it was all about the uh, prophets that showed 
what was happening behind the scenes, but they did it in a way now. I mean, it's even being publicized because it's on uh, Roku or whatever, but he shut it off because I think that's when he came fully aware that um, because he's always been faith based and, you know, very spiritual and stuff that he came, I think, to the realization that um, what I was telling him all this time was true. Mm. And now I think he's trying to work through some really seriously serious fear issues mm. because he took them. Yeah. But he's still not into this, um, this, yeah, these sessions and stuff. Um, so he doesn't really talk about it anymore. And I've offered a couple, even, you know, family members that are, um, well off. <laughs> Why don't you just come and sit in? Yeah. They're, and they all have heart problems and yeah. serious diabetes issues, but they don't want to try anything alternative. Well, you can't force anybody, but um, no, I don't, just suggested. I, what, are you, what are your complaints this this time? What do you what do you feel that we we can help you with today? Well, I don't know if. Um, well, I, I'm assuming that the scan came back clean. I've just been having some uh, sinus issues, at which has been causing teeth problems. But I think it's just the allergies, and I had to shut off all of. Um, they had like two or three of these big air freshener type things. I had to shut them all off because I couldn't breathe and open the house and air it all out. Probably because of the filters have not been cleaned. Um, no, I'm talking about those like Febreze things. Oh, oh, oh. And it's because he has a, about air cleaner things. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, um, he has a catheter and um, what would happen is he'd get dizzy and fall and, you know, he, you know, accidentally disconnected. But anyway, I just wanted to make sure uh, that I was okay. And um, uh, because I'm in a new area, I do get concerned about mainly the daughter. Uh, she does not want me here at all. She wants him in a nursing home. And he's too, uh, he's too young. He's like 74. But that's, you know, not. That he, he has to make that decision unless he's uh, proven that he can't make decisions for himself. And it, I don't think that's his real daughter. It's not. None of the children are his biologically. She has no but he took care of them since he was twenty. Since he was twenty three. Unless he gave her, unless he gave her power of attorney, she nope. has no say. He won't give anybody power of attorney. So that's why I work directly with him directly. And I've pretty much said no. I work for him. Period. So, needless to say, I you know just kind of stayed out of all that. But I just wanted to make sure that I was okay. Um, yeah, I don't feel, feel, Phil, do you feel anything? I don't feel anything. I think the energies are better. That's right. Yeah. They are getting better. I. Yeah. Uh, they are getting better. It's just my sinuses and stuff have been driving me crazy. I think you probably did the right thing and just opening your windows. Yeah. Yeah. And turning all them things off. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you want any cards? Please. I think the stress of where you moved from to here, it's better here, even though you're not getting any sleep. Yeah. And that's how you things start coming out don't they? When I you think relax so. and everything yeah just I, went and got I would some... just I would google the alarm system and see how it works or oh YouTube. I I'm okay with it because when he gets back he's going to want it anyway and it's it's only the front gate when people come into the driveway which is fine with me mm -hmm. I I don't care they can't get in I can promise you that <laughs> this thing's like Port Knox here no lie <laughs> so if you get in, can okay. you ask him to say stop Stop. <laughs> Give me some good ones, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Nature and trust. It's funny. So connect with nature more every day, which is probably just going outside. <laughs> <laughs> and I love doing that. It's been great. Thank you, learn, guys. Learn that trust. Learn by your lessons, but, uh, you know, your, your mistakes, and trust your instant, intuition. That's it. Yeah, I wrote, I'd actually wrote that because I felt that a couple of people ago. So I wrote that down and then so I'm not surprised that you got that card. Yeah. But I, I'm grateful, guys. I really appreciate everything that you're helping me with just to you check my, until I get better. You look a lot better. It's good. You do. All righty. Okay, next we have D, who would also like a scan and healing. Is that sticky? Yeah. D? Hi there. Hi. I'm having a. Well, you muted yourself. Did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. Guys, now I don't... Oh, you muted yourself again. Hi. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I can't see you there guys. There we go. There you go. I can't see you guys anymore. I, I don't know what happened. It says... Uh, 
Oh. Oh, now you muted yourself again. Oh, no, I'm trying to tap. I'm on my phone and I'm trying to tap the camera. You are. Okay, now I can see you. <laughs> 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 Well, this is my first time uh, here. Um, thank you, Philip, for inviting me. Um, I would kind of like an energy scan. Um, I've been having a problem um, for it. It's been almost a year now um, with, an, with an ex-lover who I think tried to do a binding um, on me. Um, it's affected my finances. It's um, affecting just my my social life, my my job. Um, very is, intriguing. Is he on? Is he on Facebook? No. Do you have a picture of him? No, I don't. I got rid of all the pictures of him. Um, he's got a very unique name. I don't even like to say it. Um, well, I, we have to somehow find a photo. What, what what was he in, into? We we can connect to you to this. It is, it is a back way of doing it. But what was he into? Was he into spirituality? Well, I don't really know. Um, it's a very strange story. He, um, His father was a reverend, Episcopal reverend. And I think he really um, kind of messed with this poor guy growing up. Um, he was a narcissist. This guy is textbook narcissist. I have a bad habit of attracting them, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, he, um, I, I don't know, it's, you know, either, either he, you know, renounced the church because of the way his father treated him or, um, and, and, you know, got into some dark arts himself, or he's paying someone, um, paying someone to, to do things. And I mean, I can really feel an energy pull on, on him sometimes. And then he'll text me like, it'll, it'll be, you know, three or four months. I won't hear from him. And then I'll really just feel him pulling on my energy. And then he'll send me a text message, you know, like. <laughs> well, it, it has to be him that's doing it to you then. If you feel him. I, yeah. I mean, I don't know if he, you know, when, when we first met and we really hit it off, we, you know, I thought we were soulmates. I'm not sure if I really believe in that twin flame thing, but I think, you know, there was some kind of soul tie maybe in a past life with him I really felt a connection either that or he was doing or having somebody do obsession spells on me or it's but, really strange though I I can feel I think yeah. I can feel his energy sometimes still yeah yeah I I don't I won't need the picture of him because if his energy is attached to you yeah. I can go through you to get yeah. to him if you get what I mean mm -hmm. uh, so just relax and uh the fun starts. <laughs> yeah. Is he Hispanic? No, German, Pennsylvania, German. Uh, Ooh, my heart's racing. I'm actually getting some sort of satanic stuff here. I'm not surprised. He was yeah. into some pretty weird stuff, and I don't really want to go into detail. <laughs> Do you think he tried to siphon my energy? He hasn't paid anyone. He was part of like a club. Okay. But did mess about, you know, like, like an old men's thing. club where they did it, but they had a drink and then they started getting the weird stuff out. Mm -hmm. Did you know he, 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 he was in a club? Like Freemason, maybe? No, I didn't, but it wouldn't surprise me. I Something didn't know. like in that and ground. Yeah. Right now to stop it. So can you feel that? Yes. My head's pounding right now. My heart's racing. Well, let's just have a break. Yeah, he's... He was, we were using summit that you had, and one of my aspects took your energy out of it. I've never seen that before. So, you know, it's part of you. We can use it. They've took my aspects, took the energy of you out of it. So now it's not your you, if you get what I mean. And they've been given a warning. So you, you've got like a net over you to protect you from any attacks. Mm. <sighs> but yeah, it was connected. It is, it's connected. It's been siphoning the energy and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, some sort of ritual. Mm -hmm. I'll give you some healing now. <laughs> that was just something to worry about. Mm. Can you feel that? Yes. You feel lighter now? A little bit, but I, I feel this pressure in my head and I kind of feel tightness in my right shoulder. It's kind of weird. I feel like. You don't have any implants. He's trying to connect with her. I know. Yeah. Can you feel that, Phil? 
the pressure in your head is uh, is your you're creating that mm. stress of it all, the worry it, and everything. It does. It feels like a tension headache, kind of. Okay, just try and breathe through, relax, let it go, let let it all go through your feet. When you release that breath, see it go into the earth, in through the nose and out through the mouth. When you when you release it through the mouth, try and do a three times. You can actually see it leaving, see it all the toxins leaving from that. He had a filthy energy. That's exactly what's leaving him. Mm -hmm. Smoky, dark. Mm -hmm. but the healing that's going through you now is coming from Creator. It's it's white diamond light, and from Phil, it's it's almost like lightning bolts. It's like it's it's charging you with this beautiful energy. It's wonderful. That's what I need. It's giving you energy. It's, it's healing you, it's charging you up and, and giving you more energy than you've had. Thank you. And it lasts yeah. for, this energy will stay with you for seven days and then just be fade into your auric field and mm. you'll be back to normal, feel great. Mm. Forgive him. Yeah, let it go. Let it go. Yeah, it's really hard for me to forgive him and you know, he, he has a very unique profession. He he fixes and and tunes church organs so he goes into churches in the baltimore washington dc uh virginia area Perfect. And, that's the swamp yeah <laughs> i guess huh but um it, if you don't forgive him then you're accepting you the do. ownership of the connection oh you gotta forgive him and by forgiving him you're breaking it it's very difficult yeah you have to do this for you forgive him and send him love and he's gone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. I know, but uh -huh. that's how it works. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, what I was doing, I was sending, like what Deb said, I, I was sending platinum and ray from the 22nd chakra in 5D. For, and there's like pillars of light, which you mentioned, going from each dimension. It looks uh, that's how like it comes through. going through you. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. But you're giving your power away by not forgiving him. You're giving it, you're giving him power mm -hmm. and by sending him love, you're, you're giving, you're keeping your power and giving it and, and you're keeping your power. And, and because he, of what his, the work he's doing, they don't like love. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. They, they like yeah. negative energy that they feed off of negative, not positive. So that's, that's, you're trying to heal him of the so negative. Is he, is, is he demonic then they're practicing demon that's what they're doing yes they're demon he's a demon he's practicing satanic it rituals oh, it's not, no, not a demon uh, yet but he wants to be probably yeah so i think i think the you play with it love you're 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 trying to counteract that yeah i, I don't think they i think they play with it more than do it serious if you get what yeah, I, mean. I mean i didn't feel like they really probably knew what they were doing yeah yeah they knew what they were doing Hmm? They knew what they were doing. Okay. But, you know, it's okay. Let them be. That's their journey. You know, this is your journey. Mm -hmm. You have to take care of you. You can't help anybody else with if you don't take care of yourself. Right. Well, I feel a little bit freer, but I, I honestly, I feel a little fatigued right now. Yeah, you will. But you you'll, you'll start feeling better and better as the week goes on. Thank you. You're Thank you. Let's see cards. Okay. Let's say stuff. I think the nature is you need grounding, yeah? So it's nature. So join with nature daily, yeah? Uh, the other one, harmony. Let go of your trouble. In other words, don't hang on to, like we would say, don't hang on to it. Yeah. And nature is to ground the energies, to get rid of the energies. So do a bit of uh, grounding every day. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Next is me. Yay. <laughs> okay. So my my challenge is very similar to last year when I spoke to you guys. So it's still to do with a car accident. Um, my body is still in pain all the time. I've been taking THCA and THC CBN tinctures and I've run out. So now that I've run out, I'm actually in more pain. So but that's okay. I can pick some up from, uh, I can, I'll have some tomorrow. Uh, so I would like some help with the 
muscular and fascial systems in my body because they are still under a lot of stress and that's where the pain is coming from well, according to my physiotherapist new guy um, and the work he's doing has been really good in that I get the relief and I actually am feeling physically stronger so that's working really well I could walk faster but yeah there's still the pain and the dizziness and the nausea and all that jazz so that's one part and the other part is boundaries so many lessons with boundaries and one of the things that I've seen is I'm not seeing these signs early enough and it would be nice to have that tweak done so I can see the sign <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm like okay don't give too much so very similar to the other lady who was on here where she just gives and gives and gives and then at the end of it it's like oh damn why didn't I see that they were actually taking and um, yeah just to stop that and I've actually noticed that when with certain people when I don't have to worry when there is no issue with boundary there is so much abundance but then when I'm around people who want to take then the abundance is blocked and it's like okay well that's definitely a big sign but it'd be nice to to have the tweak so I don't have that block and I just steer away from them and I did you have it before the ac the accident sorry did you have that type of um did you have the gift before the accident where you could read people better um yeah I think so because I don't remember you having an issue with this before yeah um... you, <laughs> you were pretty spot on with people before yes I was so but that's um one of the things and probably because i rely so much on my body to help me see that since the accident even though there are some skills that have become stronger um w when it comes to the sight, it's like why why is the sight not so good anymore but some things i can see really didn't you have all the clairs sorry didn't you have all the clairs claire cognizant claire audience claire didn't you have mostly all the clairs before you, you were yeah. clear what clairvoyant claire yeah so it's, it's yeah. your clairs that we need to heal it's your clairs okay thank you because those are the ones that are that that have gotten messed up that um since the accident so so if you have an energy walk in the room like an archangel or metatron can you still feel their energy and know who it is um, yeah so i can feel the high vibration really well i can still recognize and know, and know who it is yeah yes I know who it is but the dark when they mask themselves I'm not sensing that they're dark okay. and in the past I could actually see that it's oh, like yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I know you could okay yeah. so that's she has implants and I think that's what you've got implants and I think that's what's controlling that part of it mm, that's very well hidden because I've been scanning and I've <laughs> but they have some new ones they have some new ones where you can't see them they're like oh. invisible okay. but see because that part of you is broken and that's what they're controlling where you okay. cannot even when you can't see them you can but we can see we can see them by feeling them feeling their energy the implants energy that's why you can't okay these are new ones from the archons you've got three along your spine you've got one in your shoulder are these parts of your body that are bothering you your back well your back your, it's, it's your nervous awesome. it's your nervous system uh oh she frozen are you frozen oh she's got a tracker in her foot too her are we frozen are we frozen yeah you're frozen <laughs> oh i was just making sure you know we oh, crap you know the ones that you can't i can only see the shadow of them they're you know the ones yeah got a look now there she is hello <laughs> you're on mute oh what happened you froze <laughs> i thought you were just doing your thing that's why i went silent uh, you froze uh, have you still got the chat she froze again yeah okay i'm frozen or you're frozen yeah you're frozen your picture is not can you hear us is she there now it's blank i can see it i've got the picture in it I can't and she's gone again they don't want us healing her that's what that's awful mm. she back oh. I see Leslie B yeah I do <laughs> I don't see a photo though I don't see her 
Uh, that's weird. <laughs> Hello? Please continue. They don't like your work. Hello. Isn't it weird, don't we? Because you've been okay all night. Yeah. Is all your chat yeah. gone now? Sorry? All the chat's gone, isn't it? Um, yes. Yeah, it's okay. I've, I've cut it out. I found, I've located it. So. Um, yeah, so I'd say, well, they don't like this being removed because that disconnected a couple of times. Yeah. yeah I'm using me. I think, me, you're, uh, fight, I think you're fighting us, uh, healing you. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Or Just me. Oh, or, or getting rid of them. <laughs> Could be one or the other. Or both. Yeah. So when Phil started, I could feel the the implants coming out and then I got a nausea and it traveled from my head and throat down to my stomach mm. and then the pain and now I've got pain on my leg. All this nausea and the pain isn't real. It's the implants. Yep. Okay. It's just like them blocking your abilities too. Um that the abilities that you've always had. Uh, as soon as we get rid of all of this and the implants, you're gonna, all of those will come back. Okay. Thank you. So the other people that have been put in my life were by these people who have put the implants in, the troublemakers. Um, There's been a couple of troublemakers. Yeah, I, probably. Okay. As soon as Phil uh, takes care of the other end of that for his... It's aspects. <laughs> I think it's me. What? It's me. It's, I'm it's... partly merged, so it's both of us. Okay. There's a battle going on at the moment. Yeah, that's what I thought. Can you feel that, Leslie? Yeah. And I actually got strong enough to join in the battle, so I don't know if you could feel that shift. I just got, I just got, I just got an injury on my hand. <laughs> so I'm just standing behind you, so you're facing one way, I'm facing the other way. So you don't have to worry about you. All right, the ba battle's finished now. We can do the clearing up and all the implants. All right. Do, I'll give you some healing energy. My body's vibrating all over. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of healing going on. <laughs> yeah. With the brain function, that's to do with the implants as well. Everything. All of your. All of your yeah. They were controlling and and your pain. They were giving you pain. So. Yeah, if you had any neck pain, that was real. Mm -hmm. I'm sweating. It's just one of the things. No, I was fine until we started doing this healing, but mm -hmm. it's the energy. Um, Phil has that electri the, the zapping energy going through you. It's really, really powerful. And then you have the down my spine. Then you have the white diamond light, light going through you, the creator's energy, then the emerald light going through you. I'm being assisted by my uh, feminine side as well. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> so, um, oh, I'm just going to say, the, the body's feeling it. If I tell you everything, it's going to be like, yep, I know what that is. <laughs> yeah. <it's>, it's... <laughs> You're going to keep this energy for the next week. Uh, I'm shattered. Yeah, Sario says, hello. That's my female aspect. You should, oh, have, all, you should well? have all of your um, hmm? abilities back. Hmm? Is saying that I will everything's turned back on again. Yes. Thank um, you. In the next twenty four hours, you should everything should be back to normal. You know, all of your um, clairs. Yes. Thank you. It should be back to normal, but whether it's all normal, our... it might take a bit to get used to it. If you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. You're and do you want two cards? And my my temporary um housemates. I don't feel they're going to be here for very long, but that's okay. You don't? What? Well, they actually officially belong to the girl who's renting a room. Oh. Yeah. You want two set cards? Then. When? Tell her Sorry. Tell when. When? No, no, yeah. It should be stopped. Should say. <laughs> Don't just make your own rules. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bossy like that. Ewing. 
what, what healing means, it, if you if you hold on to your worries or your problems, stop and healing starts starts working. Yeah, Our abundance, arrival of abundance, wealth, and or spiritual growth uh, from our healing. That's why. <laughs> Thank you. But I see abundance as in everything anyway, not just yeah. money. It's, yeah, it's spiritual growth. Yeah, and also, yeah, the gifts that's around us. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Leslie. Yeah, so don't, don't hang on to the worries. That's, that's the only thing you need to clear now. Okay, okay. All right. So thank you very much. Thank um, you. After me, I wrote down some people. With Victoria is next after me. Okay. We go back to the baby, and I've got a list of who's after me up to Joan. Right. Okay. So, anyone after me, I don't have. Okay. Thank Hi, Victoria. you, Victoria. You're welcome. She's on mute, but we'll, we'll just let her figure that one out. <laughs> Hi, Victoria. Hello. Hi, everybody. You're still on mute. Oh, she's <laughs> no, Did she's I... not. <laughs> I, I just Sorry. wanted to make sure that you guys are done before I, I unmute. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know the usual routine, baby, baby first. I want to hear about baby. And I got some things to share and question and so forth after, and also the healing for myself as well. You must have healed Bobby. I don't see anything. How's he doing? He's always coughing and choking. Well, coughing and. That's his, you know, that's his allergies. allergies. Yeah, I know, I know that. I know. That comes and goes. That comes and goes, but I don't see anything else. He doesn't have any hooks. He doesn't have anything choking him. He seems yeah. he's got a bit of a bit of stiffness in his back. Yes, but when I when I when I do heal him, I have been healing him. When I heal him, he gets you know I immediately start vomiting because I think I'm taking it from him. If you know what I mean, and mm -hmm. um, his energy level is less lately, and I think it has to do with maybe you know the allergies making him cough and sneeze a lot. So you know he doesn't have a lot of energy from that point. Um, you know, it, I wish he had more energy than this way. I would know, would, you know, think he's more healthy, if you know what I mean, that he's doing better. But it seems like, you know, I can't walk him every day because of the weather. It, it snowed a, 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 a short while ago, salt was out there, and then I have to wait until the rain falls on it, clears it up for a few days before I can walk him. You know how sensitive he is towards, you know, the salt. It nearly killed him last time. Yeah. So I only walked him once in the last week, or to actually twice, maybe twice. But there's a few days break in between. If it was sunny, if not, you know, um, like today, it, it rained a little bit, so I couldn't walk him. I had to go shopping. In your own backyard? Well, he can go in the yard, but there's salt on the... In the yard, too? It, Victoria, mm -hmm. it, this sounds weird, because I always... I just did some remote viewing then. I saw a ship above you at home sending frequency down. A Does that ship? make any sense? Yeah, wait, a wait a minute, wait a minute. You're saying there's a ship? Yeah. Sending frequency? To your house, yeah. Is that a good frequency or a bad frequency? Yeah, I don't think that's a good one. <laughs> Is it a good one? <laughs> no. <laughs> because I had recently, um, okay, I was in this white room, this white space. I journeyed off and there was, it was in the dream state. Like I was actually not quite dreaming in a sense. It was a journey because I was listening to some chakra balancing music at that time. And, and, and every time I sink, I get pulled into another realm. You know what I mean? You do traveling when, you know, we get to a certain state. Yeah. And so I was in this white room, um, this white place. I was with this, this person shifted his face. So there's two people. One is my ex. The other one is, you know, my you know, possible twin. I wasn't even sure what I saw, but because there were a couple of the, the person changes look. And then you had, you know, I went into this room with spreads. I woke up in this so-called dream or alternate reality. Maybe I'm in the ship, but I went to the kitchen to get breakfast. And there was two guys, two tall guys, like, you know, two big guys there. And they're eating a really full fantastic breakfast like a good spread of food it's not just oatmeal type of thing you know it was a you know lavish breakfast then I walked over there's some counters and they're like freezer coolers like the human freezer and coolers so this is an earth earthly vessel 
And in, on the top there, you have to press a key code in order to open these freezer cooler. And there's an abundance of food in, in there. And when I went back, there was this guy who, who pressed it and, and told me this is really good and gave me one. And so I went back to my room, I supposedly, and there in the you know video chat, um, that fella, before the video chat came, uh, a dog came running to me. But as this one also shifted, two, two, two energies, um, it was a corgi and a Pomeranian. And as you know, I've only had palms all through my life. So assuming this is, but I, read, but I had a feeling this, is, this dog is, my, is from my past, from my ex. But like, it could be like a past life, a dog from my past life, you understand, a past relationship. And, and this guy that I saw in that video chat had, he was saying that he was, he's, he's coming back, soulmate of some kind. The whole thing, the one thing is like the whole environment was white. And I know that in the past when I went on ships, they're usually white. If not, they're in a holographic area where, you know, you can change into a setting like a, a park, a winter city block or something, or you can get ported out into another holographic reality. Um, that's when I'm on the ship. I've done that. So, you know, I have a connection with them. And so I don't really feel this is negative towards me because these are people mm -hmm. I, a familiar energy, they were loving. They were feeling loving at the very least, you know? So when they're sending energy, could that be the same ship? Or what I saw was not I'm, a ship? I'm, I'll be honest, I'm presuming it's negative because why would they send you frequency or energy? But the energy could be linking you to take them there. That could be like a portal energy. Linking um, me to take them where? Take you to the, the ship. So I don't know. I, I saw all I could see a remote is a ship sending you frequency. It's so It's... It's the galactic. It's it's the galactic reaching out for contact. That's what it is. But then what I don't understand is it's the the cool the cooler and the freezer. I mean there were big glass ones, and there were many, and there was like an abundance of food on there. Like you know, I just thought maybe it would take a symbolic. You know what I mean? Um, you know maybe it's the abundance coming or things like that. But but it's I. I I was assuming that this was an earth vessel versus maybe it was not like one of the galactic ships because it, look, it looks like human cabinets and human, you know, style. Did do that to make you look and feel only, that's all. Oh, so true. Mm -hmm. So they can be the galactics then. Mm. These people didn't seem to harm me though. And another time, but maybe you deal with this. I'm just scanning you to see if there's anything going on with you. Or Rick is scanning you, rather. Hi. <laughs> Bobby's had some energy in here. So Bobby is okay? Bobby's fine. I guess I just have to work up his stamina a bit better outside. Takes time to rebuild his walk. Yeah, remember his age, too. Yeah, that, too. No portals in the house, though? Just your mom. Apart from your mom, no. There's no dark energy around, so I assume. No. He, he does just... bark a lot. Is he a, is he a dog? <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, when we're inside a house, he could be fine doing, you know, nothing, or then he started, you know, barking unseen things, you know. Well, you know, we can only tell you what's going on right now. True. <laughs> but every house has got spirits in, haven't they? Oh, yeah. so that's so he, okay. He might right? be just tapping into some spirit, and you know, yeah. they they see a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, wrong I'm not clearing everything out. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, some of being four D. Do you guys? I, I was. You seem fine. I was super charged, super electrically charged. I, I I tried to tell you, but it it went so bad that I I started frying things really badly. I know. I know what that energy from the ship is. They were filling it up with your energy. <laughs> What? You, You're you filling know, it up with power. You know, <laughs> you know what happened a few days ago? I I saw, I, you know, I zipped off and I went yeah. to the forest again. I'm always at the forest when I'm doing something. And and there I was like moving my hands and stuff like that. This is my higher self, my soul, moving my, my higher aspect, moving my hands and then drawing the energy, the etheric energy of the earth 
and then sparks of lightning. Sparks of lightning were all around me and and then bringing it up to the sky. Basically, I was, I was, I don't even know what I, I was playing with lightning, thunder, it was, you know, causing weather storm, but it, it was almost as if I was summoning, summoning or creating lots of lightning. It's possible. And because I know, I know my soul is, is the master of all elements, mastered it all already. Baby, full cup, full cup. So this, um, so I, I'm assuming when I was doing that, it's just me seeing that it's one of my abilities. I was told I could create a nuke all of my own bare hands in the past by the angelic, I've but I wasn't going to. I've got some destinations for if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, but um, I, I want to know if, if all that time I was charging up like crazy, like really charged up, did I you cause it? in the astral or physically? I did it in the astral. Bobby, hook up. Bobby, what the? Hey, hook up, hook up, breathe. The, the thing is that a lot of our aspects can be like demigods. Yeah. We have a demigod. But one of mine, Hermes, he, 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 he emits light. Out of his hands, he takes the enemy. That's why I bring him along. He can take an old army out. It's, it's amazing to watch. And do you and do you know in, in coffee? Yeah, just I, every time he does that, I I look at him because I never know when I have to save his life. But anyhow, um, when that happened a few days ago, um, it was continuous that my my energy was being really. I was really charging like no tomorrow, <laughs> and and um. And in China, one of the thunder beings appeared in the sky, tossing lightning. This is this is after I charged up for a few days. So I don't know if 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 I summoned it or my you know or whether that's me, my other aspect out there doing something. You know, I don't know. But a thunder being appeared, like literally, like shooting lightning everywhere outside of China. And I know that I was out in the in, in Asia area, Southeast Asia, Asia area, when it happened. Mm -hmm. But I was in the forest. So do you know if, if that had anything to do with me? Because I'm I'm getting all charged up here. And now the ship's coming in to get charged up because of me, you're saying. So is I'm there any... Sure. I, I don't know. I don't know. Victoria, <laughs> we really need to move on. Sorry. But... Okay, well, no problem. Yeah, oh, thanks. You can have two cards quickly. Oh, Go. okay, sure, sure. I know you're not going to say stop by. Stop. I almost forgot about that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's, a, there's an angel here. I'm not sure if you've heard of him before. Uh, called Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know well, that guy. Yeah, I, Michael's <laughs> showing his presence a symbol of courage. Yeah, so he's got courage for you. And balance. Uh, balance for the energy because I'm too electric and I need to you know balance that down too i think i understood that part too yeah the, the other thing is balance it can also mean if you need help if, if you if you are out of balance you can ask for help and you become mm -hmm. balanced if you get one. so 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 michael can help balance me yeah oh i never actually asked him for help for that kind of stuff there you go all right thank you that that's thank good you. to know thank you so much Bye. love you guys you too. thank you Honey. Okay, next, we have Queen Leslie Ann Faye. Our names are almost the same, and we're both queens. Where is she? Uh, this one here that's showing. Oh, there she is. There she is. Hello. Hello. Just trying to unmute. Hi there. You guys are Hi. amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You're so giving. Um, I don't know what's going on with my camera here. I can see you. You're fine. Yeah. Okay. Can you see us? I'm, try I'm trying to get. No, because I've, I've got a different view for some reason. I'm not quite sure how to get rid of it. There should be a, an option on there. We go. There we go. <laughs> That's better. Um, yeah, I I've talked to you guys before, but it's been a long time. Um, and I was just hoping that you could do a scan and see if there's sure. anything that I need to turn my attention to. Sure. Let's see. Do you have pressure on your head like somebody's sitting on it? I've had a number of car accidents and whiplash injury kind of stuff. Um, so my neck is, it's been a problem for a long, long time. Um, shoulders as well, because I feel like I 
that's where all my tension is. I draw up my shoulders. Top of your back, back as well. Sorry, what? On the middle top back. Middle of your Yeah, back. yeah. I'm, I'm just drawing it out at the moment. Do you feel like somebody's controlling you? I don't, but I, I feel blocked. Um, the last couple of weeks, I've been feeling better because I've actually been able to sort of switch some things up as far as my diet and starting to move more you channel um, you usually channel are you able to channel i'm i'm not i think that i'm quite intuitive i think my intuition serves me well um and i'd love to be able to develop some skills if i wow. have that but i don't know i feel like there's something that's pushing down in your head hey, deb i just got a past life <laughs> an interesting one like mm. a knight on an horse in the not dead yet but in the battlefield it's quite weird yeah. i could see that in my eyes was, was it something to do with her head uh, let me have a look did i lose my head <laughs> <laughs> i mean I, I feel like i'm a warrior i feel strong i'm i've not taken any pharmaceutical stuff and i'm standing firmly in that i never will um like there's something like somebody standing on your head your head and your shoulders holding you down that's what i keep saying they keep showing me a picture of that you have a problem with your ear yes my left yeah. ear was frequently yeah, that's why i was, I was pointing that you were shot with an arrow it looks like the helmet didn't work <laughs> in, oh. your ear, in your ear Ooh. i don't think it went well <laughs> I've I've had ear problems as long as I can remember. That's so weird. <laughs> we can trace it back to that. Can we get rid of it? <laughs> I'll try. It's I suppose it's a, a trauma from a past life, so we need to remove the energy. Uh, I'll try and go in your timeline and try and see why you kept the energy. If you know I me, mean, I'll see why. I don't know what to do. I'll, I'll see what. Happens. Thank you. It's like a numb, numbing. It's very very weird. Ah. You didn't die quickly. No. <laughs> that sounds I, really miserable. <laughs> I know. Shot in the ear, dying slowly. Are you a shot by your own side? <laughs> <laughs> my, my, mine's me of American fighting that. Yeah, you know? no kidding. <laughs> Friendly <laughs> fire. Friendly whatever. fire. That's, about, that's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel friendly, do you? Mm -hmm. I have another past life. You were in the circus. <laughs> and that's why I kept seeing somebody on your shoulders. Uh. <laughs> do, you, so, do you feel like somebody's standing on your shoulders? Standing, keeping you down? <laughs> hey, time to dismount. <laughs> yeah. Well, I kept seeing people on your shoulders. And it, they were more than, but it was like more than one. And that's why they were, you were like the tumblers and the oh. trapeze and the, it did all the trapeze stuff. and. That's was, wild. We had a long time ago. It was a whole family. Mm. Wow. Did you feel a change? Like? My head feels full and uh, the back of my head kind of hurts. <laughs> uh, I've repaired your soul fragment from that life. And uh, I don't know if your ears will improve or not because your brain's programmed it in. So you've got mm. to try and deprogram the, the earring problem. I'll, I'll give you some earrings as well. Thank you. What, what what did you do at the circus? <laughs> well, she was uh, she was the man at the bottom holding up all these. It, you were the father, the strong man. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why I feel like I'm so tough. <laughs> Should feel the energy going in there. It feels a little bit like a sort of electrical charge, like. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ping, tingling? That's a good thing. <laughs> Vibrating? That's that's the energy going in you. Excuse me. Were you good in science? No. <laughs> um, English and stuff like that was more my forte. Writing? Yeah, that, yeah. That's Although I'm more sort of functional, you know, like I, I worked in an office my whole career. I'm retired now, but, uh, yeah. you know, details. It's all about details with me. I was just me. wondering because... Um, you're you are an aspect of saint germain did you know that oh, i did not know that that's very interesting and he was there for the signing of the declaration of independence oh wow 
he actually yelled, sign that document. Oh. <laughs> so Saint, is Saint Germain the one with the purple flame? The... Yes, yes, he is. Okay. I, I thought it was violet. But the violet flame. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> violet flame, yes. Well, purple, violet, yes. She knows. I knew what she meant. <laughs> you got to say stop and you can have two cards. Stop. Ah. Music and listening. The music is obviously a frequency to help you get grounded and listening. Do you, you get intuition? I do, yeah. Yeah, it, just saying it. Just listen more. Probably ground yourself a bit more and you'll be um, the messages more. Yeah. Yeah, I know I need to get outside more. And thankfully, I, I'm on Vancouver Island, so we're starting hopefully to get to the end of uh, kind of miserable wet and cold weather. But but I, I can never remember my dreams anymore. I feel like I don't don't ever dream and I don't understand why that is, but or how to help bring that in. Maybe you're not supposed to at this point. Mm. I wouldn't worry about it. When you're supposed okay. to remember them, you will. Okay. It might be to do with the aspect coming close to you. You know, the uh, one who got the who died on the battlefield. It might be your age is very similar to the person that died on the battlefield. Oh, so okay. you, you could remember it, remember it in your dreams, and you, you might be just getting blocked for it. But it might not be. I don't know. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what I was being told. Okay. Well, I just bought some tuning forks, so I want to learn how to use them. Speaking of the vibration nice. and yeah, frequency really stuff. and it's great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. That was You're lovely. Welcome. Really appreciate it. It's an honor. Thank you. you want some cards? Oh, he did. He oh, gave yeah. them. Yeah. Yes. Yes, he did. Thank you. You're daydreaming? I guess. Yeah, I got to gotta sing more. I got to <laughs> sing more. And I had music on today. I cleaned my whole house today. My husband and the dog are away for the weekend so i've had a productive busy day and great. had the tunes blasting <laughs> that's great i gotta do it more often i think thanks everybody thank you i have juliet next on the list but i can't see her oh, is she, so she must have got yeah. yeah so next is suzette please hi suzette, hi, suzette. you're muted unmute okay got it bye Hi. Hi. You're welcome. I am curious to see what you guys think. Is everything looking good? Let's see. Um, I, I can feel it was looking good, actually. Without better. Scanning, yeah, without scanning. Yeah. yeah. You look so better. now what I'm wondering is, are my guides bound? Because I'm not hearing nobody. It's way too quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys see any implants? Oh. Right. One of the questions. My energy looks, it looks good. <laughs> I didn't even read the question. <laughs> I I replied to that and I'm, I've just read your question there. I replied oh, I before you. I read the question. <laughs> okay. No implants. No, <gasps> yeah. I, I, I've got no implants. Yes. Yeah. Now I've had two or three nights of UFOs being here and I'm feeling like I was upgraded. Hmm. Good. I, I think you're not here listening to them because they're getting ready to listen to him if you get what I mean. You're not going to hear it the way you did before because it's those were not real. That okay. was your trickster energy. So you're expecting okay. to hear it. You're expecting to hear the way you did before. It's going to be different. Remember okay. that. It's going to be in be different. Like okay. messages. Okay. It's going to sound like you when it starts out. It's going to sound like your voice. Okay. But it's going to be messages that something that you wouldn't say. Okay. And sometimes it's, well, it's... Right. Okay. normally in the different part of your head that right. you think yeah that's how you know it's not your message because it's in the different part mm -hmm. yes it's exactly right okay and you got to trust okay you've got to trust and as soon as you start trusting those messages yeah. then it'll start flowing okay but right now you're not trusting you're a yeah. little nervous i'm i'm too worried about it right now yes and you got to stop worrying stop yeah. worrying i i have been told yeah the UFOs are there and they are too. They are ours. So that's good. But those aren't your guides. Remember, your guides are with you. Your guides are with you. They're not on a ship. No, no. They're uh, they're like in the bedroom. I can feel they're, the vibration all, at yes, night. Yes. Yeah. And those are your, your those are, are your, those are your guides. Your guides don't make you vibrate. Your guides have been with you since you were born. Okay. Your angels have been with you since you were born. They're always with you. They never leave you. But when you're vibrating, that's an ascended master or that's an archangel. 
Okay. Okay. Good. That's the way it felt. Yes. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Cause when, when I, when I feel them, when I feel anything come into my energy now, I'm doing my, my mantras and, and stating who I am and claiming my space. Yes. Um, but, but vibrations are good. Remember vibrations are good. That means those are higher dimensional beings. Those are right. good. Vibrations are a good thing. So don't yeah. be afraid of vibrations. When it feels like it's somebody sitting on your chest, yeah, that's, that's, that's that's not good. Right. I'm I'm hearing things, but it's like it's like spirit, and they'll answer me, and I'm having a hard time turning tuning into them. Then if you're but having it, a hard time, that's not for you. That's not. Well, no, it depends on what spirit is. Sometimes the spirit has difficulty uh, out to connect if it's a new one if it's a different if it's an experienced one they they know how to but if it's not an experienced one it's a it's like a foreign language it's very hard to actually connect sometimes okay. yeah i was able to connect one time um i was i was asking for help for guidance and i started watching some videos that felt right and then all that information from that videos was what I needed. And they told me that the level that I'm at and my guide is walking into a, uh, he's a 48 level. So it would be very similar to what, um, what Philip's experiencing with the Archangel Raphael. It's that level. And it ended up, they ended up telling me that they were the gatekeeper of the avatar. And that's why I was able to contact and connect to them because it was essentially me. But that, I don't that know sounds that's like seven D, doesn't it? It's forty-eight. Awesome. I think it's seven D. What was that? I think it's seven D. Uh, forty-eight. Forty-eight. Yeah, I think it is. It could be eight D. I don't. Know. Eight yeah. eight to sixty-four seven eight. They, they showed me pictures of what I had been learning to show me where I was at, and it was forty-eight degree is a walk-in, and that was from what David had told me. Yeah, I've heard that. Ago. Yeah, I've heard that. But I was only able to contact with that person that one time, and that was yeah. they were telling me that was the right connection. Everything else had been wrong, and the connection that I was getting from that, I recognized that energy, and some of my channeling was from that. Mm. And so I got to go through all my paperwork now and figure out what is real, what isn't, uh, what's been given to you, and what isn't. Yeah. Right. Which side is giving you which information? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. they showed me that I was connected to that avatar as the gatekeeper and then to the walk in here. And that gave me a triangulation of energy that they stabilized me so that I could be in the right energy where the implants weren't affecting everything. Yeah. It wasn't stopping the implants, but it was allowing for some of the higher stuff to come through. Mm. I, I would okay. accept. I would accept what you're being given now because you haven't got any implants and your energy is good. Right. Yeah. It, it's if it was uh, tricks that you, we'd probably know. We'd know, wouldn't we, Dad? We would because of your energy and any implants. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've been working with Tracy every couple of days too, and learning different things. She uh, told me that I have some shamanic, um, uh, what do you call it, aspects, and I've been hearing drumming. So that was interesting. So she telling me what I can tune into and what, you know, kind of helping me through it. Mm -hmm. But um, there was a lot of portals still here and we cleared a lot of that. Um, and then she put a portal, a positive portal underneath the house and that's helped a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and she did clear one implant since, yeah. since I worked with you. Yeah, we won't be surprised. I don't know how they're yeah but we, we you had so well, many if there was a, if there were if there were more portals and they opened more portals yeah yeah that was the thing she was able portals. to tell me exactly where they were there was one in the minivan there was one in my bed you, well you had that many implants <laughs> i'm not surprised <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah you had a lot i do feel a lot better yeah that's you good look, you, yeah you look so much better yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i'm sleeping good now I feel like the imp, the what do you call it? The downloads are coming again in again. Yeah, yeah that's but cool. I'm not able to do the things I was able to do before, so I'm still waiting for that. Well, it won't be the same. You won't be doing the yeah. same way. It'll be different because it, the other stuff was not. Yeah. 
when it wasn't from a good place. It was it, it was right. controlling. Right. It's good to work with Tracy because that, it'll that be, you'll, you'll together, know the yeah. difference. You'll know the difference because it'll be so much better than what it was before. It'll be you'll you'll know well, the good. difference. Good. Okay. I I feel like I'm able to repel things better. That's good. Yeah. Now that I'm I think here. I think we we did some of your field, didn't we? Yeah. We helped your field. Yeah. yeah. Your field's picking it up now and sensing it, sending it out. Is it is it stronger now because I've been doing the um the twelve D shield? Yeah, but your field's picking it up. Yeah, so it, the, your auric field is six feet around you, so that right you can feel it now. Yeah, well, I can't feel it, but I I feel like I'm not being bombarded. I, yeah. it, when I if I feel the energy, I know I can push it back now. I did earlier today. Yeah, but when you're pushing it back, it's your field that's pushing. That's your it back. auric field. You're you're giving the instruction to your field, and it's your field's pushing it, taking it away. Okay. Okay. So your field's working really well to do that. Okay. Good. Good. That that makes me healthy. <laughs> uh, it may feel like it's close, but okay, it's, um, it's, it's, it's 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 outside your auric field when you feel the energy there. Okay. So it's not connected yet. Right. Okay. I felt someone sexually try to come in, and I was like, "No." What you do? Anything else you guys want to tell me that I need to know about? Just trust your. Trust your gifts that you have. Trust. Yeah, yeah. Don't be afraid to um to, to trust the information you're getting. Don't, mm -hmm. don't don't be worried. Don't be worried. It happens the way the way it's supposed to now. Okay. Take away okay. your worry because that uh, don't put that out there. Yeah. And it, it's it's good to work with Tracy. She's all right. Yeah. yeah. She's she's helping me out a lot. We were able to do the shamanic connection, and I was able to see the outline of a woman. She had white, white wavy hair and a white dress, but her face was black. And I was concerned about her face not being there. And Tracy was able to connect to her and so she's, she's fine. She just, I don't remember what she said it was, but it was good. Yeah, I don't know. So I was Tracy. able to Do connect a little bit. Yeah, I, I know Tracy. We were together. She's all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surrounding myself by everybody who's on the good side this time. <laughs> <laughs> You want two uh, cards, by the way. What? You want two cards to see. Oh, what, okay. What the heck? Don't say okay. stop. Okay. You're not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you got to say stop. 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 <laughs> I, I get hand shuffle problems. <laughs> ah, ah, you, got, you got friends, uh, friendship, friendship, friendship and dreams. Friendship means. You're changing, surrendering your friend. You're losing bad friends and gaining good ones. Yeah, which is good. Dreams, you are being sent messages in your dreams. Keep a pen handy. So always keep a pen. But you're getting rid of your bad connections and you're gaining better ones, which you've just okay. said that. That's good. Good. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, you, okay. you get the good able ones. To, to get some channeling for um the, the music. And that's yeah. what I really was missing more than anything was the music and it's been flowing better now that's excellent good yeah and it's it's light language music oh so my hands still feel a little bit sore from um that last binding that i had um tracy did some work on the hands there was some chains around the hands in a dream and we took off the chains but they still feel painful in the thumb areas well let, let me give you some healing then I'll give you some healing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you feel that? I can hear the angels. <laughs> They're just so faint, but I can still feel them. Yeah. You have energy from um, Creator and from Phil's uh, Phillips. Mm. I've always heard these guys. That's because they never leave you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. In the next seven days, that energy stays with you, the, the healing energy. Oh, good. That's nice to know that. <laughs> okay. It's nice Thank to you see guys. you looking good anyway. It's nice Thank to see you energy so looking good. It feels really good to hear those angels. I can, can't hear them as good as I used to be able to, but I can still know that they're there. And that always helps. It does. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> oh, did you do the card? We did. Yeah. We did. Never mind. Yeah, you did. You, did. <laughs> you just yeah. want another one. You just want another one. Yeah. All right. I'll check uh, in again next time I can. Uh, your prayers are being answered. Okay, that looks good. 
Thank you, Philip. Thank you, Deb. Thank you, Rick. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks. We have Joan next. Hi, Joan. Hey. Hi, Joan. Uh, hi, Deb and Rick. Hi, Phil. Hello. <laughs> hi, everyone. Um, yeah, I would like to um, get some healing for Ethan. Ethan, come on. Hi, Ethan. Joan, you want to say hi? Say hi. Hi. Say hi. hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Are you going to say hi? <laughs> so shy. Say hi. Okay, do you like that? <laughs> All right, let's cry for him. I don't know, it's something going on in his throat and his allergy. He still have his tonsils? He still have his yeah. tonsils? Because I can see that they're all swollen. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Do you have tonsils? Did you ever get your tonsils out, Ethan? No. Yeah. No, yeah, he still has his tonsils. <coughs> yeah. Is he got? Is he got a sore back at the moment? Did your back hurt yet? Your back? Is it hurt? Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. He said yes. Yeah. I'm taking that. Uh, pain How about away. your ears? How about your ears? It's fine. <laughs> it says it's fine, but this one's not hurting. No, not hurt. Huh? Not hurt. This one? Not hurt. Okay. Good. Your teeth? Fine. Do you have a headache? You got dripping in the no the nose. Your nose dripping down into your throat. Yeah. Yeah. He's, it's his sinuses. You have allergies, or is it just this time of year? Allergy. <laughs> but usually, uh, every time he go back to school, he get attack all the time. Yeah. He get allergy. I mean, he get sick every time he get back from school. That's because all the other kids they wipe their nose and they touch everything and. He... <coughs> And everything's all, <laughs> it's called the the creeping crud. That's what I used to call it, the creeping crud. <laughs> Even like summertime, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they don't wash their hands. It, kids are kids. They're going to they're gonna pass it around. They share yeah. their They share their drinks. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I was going to be political, but I won't, about shedding. <laughs> yeah. How old now? Does it feel better now? Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel now? A little better. A little better. <laughs> it'll, it'll take it'll take of twenty four hours or so before it back should be better. Yeah. Okay. I'll say thank you. It's gone. Then. Uh, yeah, he's going now. <laughs> thank you. Well, um, can I have a S kind too? <laughs> yeah, I need a link obviously. Your throat bothering you? Yes. <laughs> You caught the creeping crud too. <laughs> <laughs> you got a bad back as well. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's that my 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 kundalini that is is still going the flow. So that's why you know the my back is still like kind of stiff, and it feels it, it's going into my throat and it's I feel like block. There's a, a block in my my throat. I think you I think you have a spiritual parasite. You know, I was thinking I it might be an implant. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure if it's an implant or spirit. But it could be both. It could be one of the Archon creations. I think, I think you may be right. Archon mm -hmm. creates really weird beings, so they could be an implant, spiritual parasite. Um, <laughs> spiritual parasite. I, I was going to tell you that I think she has a, one of those clear implants in her back. Hmm. Yeah. You're definitely a little bit infected. Uh, how do I get those? <laughs> what, do you want me to ask her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, am I this my pyramid right here that's creating this? <laughs> this uh, you could get you could get my. Uh, it's when you normally have low energy or an injury you normally get. Them. But uh, you haven't had the thing anyway, have you? You haven't had that injection, have you? No, no. Uh, so it, uh, that weakens your field and you can implant them. Uh, a couple of years ago, the uh, light grid was infected when they actually got into the light grid where everyone connects to their spiritual consciousness. They actually was putting implants there so you could connect and get an implant. <laughs> it's been sorted now by RT, but uh, that was two years ago. It could have been something like that. But think about it, they really. chose you. That means you've got a power. <laughs> That's how I look at it, yeah. If you're not very powerful, you're not going to stick an implant in there. The implant is to take your energy. So, yeah. 
Mm. How they get the implant? It does look parasite implantish. Definitely an archon, mate. How clever these archons. You'll feel it, so. Oh my God, it's, that's so hot. <laughs> You yes, know where I, you know where I am. You never believe where I am. I'm on a a, a, a sulfur planet, lava. That's why it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big battle going on. I've never been on one of them before. Wow, he has to heat you up for the um the, the parasites, but um he he's had to go into the implant to find out where it is, where it goes to. Mm. Remember Star Wars, where they were both fighting on a planet with all lava. Very similar to that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. well, that's crazy. Never, I've <laughs> never like been on that before. Party. And the bath is so, it starts sweating like hot and sweat. <laughs> yeah, the, the artist to, to kill the parasite. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> right, they're, they're gone now. Oh. Reeling for you. You want some healing or are you okay? Healing, please. <laughs> yeah. No. Work's being done on your back at the moment. Yeah, I feel that now. I feel like kind of cooling now. Wow. Yeah. Yes. I, I got a little message as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, think, right. I think we've said you're an angelic. Did you know you, you've got an Lemurian aspect? Yeah. You knew that? Yeah. There you go. It's not like surprising, it. is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to ask Bev or uh, Rick, um, about my portal, I mean my portal. <laughs> Is there something in my in my pyramid? I love your pyramid. Yeah, I think I was creating portal in here. Um, Does it have an um, a bottom to it? Yes, it's a uh, four. Uh, it's like a hold on. It's like a yeah the the uh, oh, this one. It's like five uh, four. On each side, yeah. And what kind so of like crystal? All the uh, five feet. Oh, all five feet on each side. Okay. What's? Do you have a crystal in the center of it? Yes. I uh, have a. This one is the uh, copper wire and a, and a crystal on this one. I have the uh, Adara crystal one. Oh, that's and nice. I, I put it uh, in the top and with this. This is a magnet right here with the with the uh, copper. It's like a. So I, I put it, this one is a magnet, and then I, I put a copper wire around it, so I hang it with that. And when I do a meditation, it's like like when I'm in here in the middle, it's like moving my head. I, I'm not moving it. <laughs> I don't move my head around it. Do you sleep with that? Uh, sometimes, yes. Yeah, and I, I dream about the UFO that <laughs> came into it. Just my, my, if you're my. ever very, very low, very sad, I'd be wise not to use it because the portal takes you to the vibration you're in. If you're very happy, very high, you will go see, you will go high vibrations and stuff like that. But if something really bad's happened and you're very, very sad, I'd be careful about using it. You'll go low. <laughs> yeah. It's a portal, oh. it's a port dimensional portal. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. It, well, I always. I always feel bliss. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. Well, you're probably always happy then, so that's great. Uh, my aspect is say that your aspect and her work, used to work together. So there you go. Uh -huh. In yeah, the Lemurian we, we... temples, healing, healer. You yeah. should merge with her harshly. It'd be good fun. For, for... <laughs> you should merge with your Lemurian, partially oh. merge with your Lemurian yeah. healer. Oh, the, uh... Well, I only know the younger one aspect, but she's kind of um, the innocent and playful one. So, <laughs> but the uh, the priestesses, I haven't, I I don't know that yet. It didn't come out that yet. You will wait when you're ready. That's what happens. Because they they told me that my mom told me before that I was one of the priestesses in yeah. Lemuria. Yeah, working with my. <laughs> princess we worked together it must might have been sisters i don't know but i was healing at the healing room i put it on i started feeling pain in my third eye and it was crystalline and there was gold coming around it crystalline while i'm healing and i felt female i was female it was weird i uh, felt like that in my life yeah oh one, one of the other healers has seen me shape shift into a 
has actually seen her with her own eyes. That's quite amazing. So because usually I dream about the uh, the the teenager in uh, Lemuria, all the kids like you know the teenager were going to a school or or something, yeah. and they were it's all like a priestess. <laughs> I mean, like a teenager kids. It's like uh, they're teaching us all these different um, modalities to you know uh, teaching the. It was like in the forest, in the ocean, or something like that. And there's a circle uh, fire in the in the middle, and that's that's I I remember that that was uh, um, in Lemuria, hmm. and all the different uh, clothes that we wear. So yeah, <laughs> and also she... I dream of you in the astral, so that's why you dream of me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I dream of you in the I astral. Wouldn't... Yeah, I wouldn't use that thing anymore. <laughs> I'm joking. I dream of me. <laughs> and then <Yeah>. any less. <laughs> yeah, a, I I can't believe that I, I dream of, of you as a... Well, you look different in there, but I know you are... Yeah, I've had a shave rapper. and everything, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably one of the other aspects. What is strange is your aspects are, tend to look very similar to yourselves. I've noticed that some of the aspects I, I connect, they don't half look the same features, alien looking, but features. So, yeah. mm -hmm. It just looked like you, but yeah, it's... but it depends on how <laughs> it, they, they've got the features of it. Yeah, that's what I found strange. Yeah. Did you give her her cards yet? Yeah. I <sighs> yeah. I've, yeah. She's saying that your aspect and my aspect were sisters, princesses. Of Lemurian temple. There you go. Wow. So, because I partially merged with it, it helps me really. <laughs> it helps me get the power. <laughs> uh, just What's say the stop. Name? stop. Uh, I've actually written it. Oh, I've written it down, but I've, it's that weird. I said it twice tonight. It's that weird. I've had to write it down because I. She already forget. said stop. <laughs> oh, you got to say stop again. <laughs> stop. <laughs> What you weren't ready for? <laughs> no, you were too busy talking. <laughs> right, self acceptance and intentions. That's like so. Intentions. You're too too hard, too difficult for yourself. You know, start loving yourself more, which I think you do anyway. I don't know what the cards of intentions. Create a goal, spiritual goal. There you go. Have mm -hmm. you got a goal? I, I don't have any goal. You need a new one, then. You need a new one. Can I, I know. What, what I've just given it to you. Goal? I just, Partially I just want, merge with your princess. I just want to leave and enjoy. Yeah. Partially merge with your princess. I fly by the oh. seat of my pants. I don't have any goals either. <laughs> I've got one. Mine's to win the lottery, but that's, that's a 3D goal. <laughs> Okay, now I get one. I'll look at you at to you some point. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I... Joan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're getting punchy here. I know. <laughs> I mean, it's sweating in here. <laughs> I'm so sweating. I'm still in here. <laughs> that will last another seven days. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, thank you. People okay. be asking us to heal and when they don't want healing, they just want the house warming up. <laughs> Save electric. I don't I don't have any heat. I gotta call Rick, Deb, and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last on my list is Susie Polly. Susie Polly. I said we'd get to you someday. <laughs> <laughs> It's now. I was almost asleep. I'm just kidding. Oh I was like, I'm going to stay like awake. I'm going to stay awake. <laughs> it's four o'clock in the morning for Phil. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. But so that's, why, that's, why, that's why I get a bit off of off my head when I'm when I, this time. That's why I just talk and I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. <laughs> just good. let your let your aspects do the talking, Phil. You just sit there and doze. <laughs> Susie, Susie, so what can we do for you? 
I don't know. Whatever seems to come up. Um, I don't have anything in particular. All right, everybody that's here, let us know. What <laughs> I see Jesus. Do you, do you talk to Jesus? Jesus Christ. <laughs> he says you called? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I didn't even know for sure 100% that he was real, so... Well, he wants to let you know that he's definitely real. And it's okay that you said Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> he's, found, he's, gone by many, he's gone by many, many names. Depends on what lifetime you're talking about. Right. Dep Saint depends Germain which book lifetime. you're reading as well. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Saint Germain. Yeah. Well, no, Saint Germain. He's not been Saint Germain. That's a totally no. different person. Okay. <laughs> Grew up in the church, and I kind of rejected all that. So I was sort of like, I'm not sure how I feel Which, about this. So I'm a recovering Catholic, so I, I, I <laughs> uh, yes, I'm also a minister's daughter, so double whammy. <laughs> my condolences. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Love my dad, yeah. though, very much. Well, we I, know. I'm uh, I'm not religious one bit. Yeah, I connect with Jesus, so. You're Jesus, spiritual. Jesus yeah. There's a difference religious. between being religious and spiritual, in my mind. Jesus isn't religious. What religious is God? What religion is God? I, I asked, I asked That's Gabriel. Man -made. I, That's man-made. That's man-made. I asked Gabriel and Jesus exactly <laughs> the same question. They said man-made. They said yep. exactly the same words you just made. Yep. <laughs> yeah. uh, actually, I think it said man-made crap, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> I, was a, our neighbor died, and he, and he came to visit me after, three weeks after he died. I was uh -huh. in my backyard, and I was meditating, and I heard, I felt his energy, and I said, "Hi, Paul." And um, he was, he said, "You can see me." I said, "No, I can feel you, your energy." And he, and he, and he said, "I'm dead." And I said, "I know." And, he, and I said, "I said, um, well, I said," he, he said, "I don't know what to do." And I said, "Well, I said, what about that guy that's right next to you?" He goes. I know he keeps following me around. I said, well, that's Jesus. And he goes, well, I'm not religious. And, and I said, neither is he. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell him to stop bothering me. Gosh. I was like, well, like, what the hell does he want? <laughs> <laughs> Has nothing to do with hell. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, but he, he st Jesus was laughing when I said, neither is he. <laughs> and he was like shocked that Jesus was laughing about that. So the, the, these are just examples. So, you know, he, he take, doesn't take offense. God doesn't care if you call him stick. He doesn't care what you call him. They don't care. Beat you with the ugly stick. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm here. He doesn't care what you do. He only he's pure love. Pure right. Love. Pure love. Right. There's no, I mean, there's no judgment. And that's another thing that you know we're all taught everything we're supposed yeah. to be guilt. There's guilt. I mean, the Catholic Church was sick on guilt. And, and I hated that from the day you're born. Well, you're broken and you're a sinner. I'm like. I'm the baby. What did I do? You know, yeah, how can I exactly. sin? Give me a break. I just no got sin. here. Yeah, there is no <laughs> sin. There's no I, sin. I, I, I laugh at when they say to drink Jesus's blood. Is this satanic oh, or something? That <laughs> is satanic. Oh, I'm not a vampire. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, but good. when I was when I was bring, being brought up, my mum was a Sunday school teacher. Christian Sunday school teacher, but she's also a tarot reader and a medium. So <laughs> I could pick either side if I wanted her, to. <laughs> her secret life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only one day Christian Sunday school teacher. The rest it was uh, it was a spiritual <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh goodness! I, yeah, it's so funny. Then I never knew my mother was an angel until after I woke up. And my mother, who's raised Catholic and then became a Christian because the, the Catholic Church and all the raping that priests did to boys. Oh, my God, yeah. All that stuff. And mm -hmm. so we all left the church. I was the first one to leave and brought them all with me. <laughs> That's funny because we we stopped going. We decided, oh, I was in 2007. I told my mom, I said, Mom, you know what? I've tried three different times. I just can't do it anymore. These people are liars. They, they talk about being all good and kind, and then their daughters are sitting behind us in church whispering about my girls. I'm like, come on, give me a break. You guys are big hypocrites. They are. I'm like, I know I, people yeah. that are true in their heart, yes. and you ain't one of them. <laughs> so yeah. that was done for me. You got the ministers sleeping it. around. I mean, and, you know, I, it's just <laughs> everything so that they tell you not to do is always yes. going on. Then yes. I went to my job and I found out, <laughs> wow. Yes. 
So not what what you know, it's who you know it, and who you blow. It it is. It's 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 it's, it's sickening. It's, it's just sickening. The, the churches are very political. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yes, I get it. So we're all recovered. We have all recovered from. That's right. We made upbringing. it. We're survivors. <laughs> exactly. And my mom's fine. You know, I just I'm honest with her. I'm not going. You know, I'll, when I go visit her, I go with her. You know, out of respect. But when I when I start hearing the hymns because my dad was minister. And we used to go like three, four times a week. And then when you got to be in high school, you got to go to youth group. <laughs> so, uh, I was having a salvation enema every day. Thank you. So I'm like, yeah, okay, I've had enough. I think I've had enough. <laughs> yeah, but don't, 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 don't sell, don't throw Jesus away just because of all that. No, no. I have oh. a feeling that he's a, he was a real hippie and he smoked pot and did all <laughs> kinds of cool stuff. I, I, <laughs> and LSD I, 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 and mescaline. No, I did that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually thought about taking it because um, I hear it. It does great things for the body. If you have PTSD, I would love to give, give something like that to my sister because if something really bad happened to her 20 years ago. So, oh yeah, she's it's been a lot of trauma in the family. So, and my two daughters are, uh, they just went off. They just went off the deep end, the other direction. One actually told me she doesn't believe in God anymore. Uh, but every time they communicate with me, um, they're trying to pull me into the negative. And I'm like, so I'm not talking to them right now. And one of them is getting married this year. So I don't know if I'll be able to go to her wedding. So that's kind of a sort of thing on the side. My dog passed away two weeks ago. And I know he's one of my guides. I had him for 16 years. Aww. And he's already spoken to me. Yeah. He's in the backyard. <laughs> yeah, we just lost and, our, our uh, three of our cats. Yeah. 19, 20, and, and 15. So a few years ago, I ran over my cat. She was under the car. I was bawling for an hour. Anyway, yeah, we're going off on tangents here. But yeah, it, it when I first was going to have it happen, I decided, no, this is not the right time. But I just cried my eyes out. When it actually came to the moment when I had a vet come here, went in the garage, put a blanket down, and he came in, got his shots. He was very peaceful. So I have a friend. Her name's Vera. She's an animal whisperer. She said... And you know you did the right thing. It's a very hard thing to do. You love your animals. And like he was, a, I bonded with him when I met him. It's like, shoo, there was my heart. I had never been into dogs at all. I'm a cat person, but not when he was a husky. It was awesome. <laughs> and when he went, he was so quiet. He slept all the time. He was very peaceful. So I, he went very quietly. It was like hardly anything. Yeah. You know? Very grateful for that. And then I was like, oh. I felt better, you know, okay, I did do the right thing. But I was like, you know, when I first arranged for it, I was like, this is an execution. How can I do this? No, it's it's like, no, it's but it's not. It, and they have a different, they have a different idea of things. They, they know this is going to happen. They're aware of it. So they have, I wish I could see like they see because our other dog, she, my husband threw the, I know I'm going on. My husband threw the Frisbee in, in, the, in the kitchen. She came to the doorway and she went like that. I'm like, what is your problem? The other dog was there. Shiloh's there. But he doesn't look like the Shiloh she knew. She He looks like the young Shiloh, and he wants to play with her. So she's confused. Mm -hmm. He's dead. I know he's dead. She's grieving. But there he is in the kitchen. He wants to play with me. What the heck is going on? She still will go in the kitchen, and she will back out. <laughs> she's a year and a half. She's a um, chocolate lab. She's the oh, sweetest, sweetest dog. <laughs> I was, so I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say when my dog died, I woke up at five in the morning, mm. patted him on his head, and I said, "You can go now." And he died. Just and like was, that. He died. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they were waiting, waiting, waiting to collect him. I knew, and I thought, uh, "I'll send him on his way." So he was wait. He he didn't go because he wanted to stay with me, and then I gave him permission. You gave him permission. That's yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. It's so weird, though. It's just weird to think that you decide when some when an animal dies. It's just, I don't know. It's the only thing I'm getting for you is um, forgiveness. You it, letting go and, and forgiveness so that you can move on. Mm -hmm. Because when you hang on to um, when you hang on to anger or sadness, it brings your vibration down. Right. Exactly. Clearing this. Hey, up. There you go. I just put that. 
Where, where is it? It's a card. <laughs> wow. There you go. Forgiving myself. <laughs> yep, and forgiving yeah. others. Forgiving I forgive others. everyone who's hurt you in your life. I forgive yourself for holding the anguish of your life. I call that religion that you were just saying. Yeah. You're still keeping hold of it. See, so you're owning it. You don't want to own it. You just want to say it was yeah. okay at the time. I it's forgive myself for holding it and, get it and just let it go. Right. I, yeah. I had to do do what I was told at the time because I was a kid. Yeah. So and to... it, it's made you into who you are now. Exactly. Exactly. And and you chose your experiences before you came here. Do you know yeah, that? Yeah, I told my granddaughter that too. She goes, you know, she's about, you chose your mom. And she goes, what? Because I won't go into it. But that person is nuts, is a dumpster fire. And she's put her kids through hell and back. But and so my granddaughter's like, what? And I said, yes, you did. Just like I did. I, I came to these this family for this reason, to have these experiences. So you can't play the victim because it was your choice. You can't. And you had to come to that realization, too. None of us are victims. We have a ton no. of things that right. are here to help us. You have guides. You have angels. Mm -hmm. And none of us are alone. We're not nope. victims. And we, and we did choose this. We chose this for the experience. This is just an experience. Just an experience. This is not the real us. This is not our real life. So this is only part. What we see is only part of us anyway. Very small part. And I told her that, too. I'm glad she's asking questions because nobody else is. <laughs> everybody else is going to shut up and go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, What's that? We're, we're, we're just part of an oversoul. The oversoul's got 12 segments, and that oversoul is the aspect of source. We are mm -hmm. source beings. So. Mm -hmm. Try to tell them that in the church. <laughs> oh, I would. <laughs> I've had my fun in my time. <laughs> But me, uh, RE Christian teacher said, what religion are you? Uh, you're, you're Protestant. I says, no, I want to be Hindu. <laughs> I, never got, I never got good marks in my RE. Oh, there's no such thing as reincarnation. No, 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 no. You guys, don't put me in a box. I'm not going in there. I'm done with that. Uh, I'll send, I'm, I'm just sending you some energy. Yeah, we're, I'll we're, try and do clearance energy. Hmm? What did you say, Deb? We're giving you, both of us are, we're all giving you energy, so. Thank you. Clearing energies as well. To clear. While we're doing this, just think of all the things that you're holding on to and let it go. Any anger, any trauma, anything like that. And, it it's, and, the, and during the next seven days, as things come to you that you think you, it, it, and you may even think of things during the next week. That's, mm -hmm. that's the things that you say, thank you for the experience, I, and I'm sending you off with love. Thank you for the experience, I'm sending you away with love. That's all you have to do when you think of it. Okay. Let it go. All things from the past, if they come up, th th there's a reason. You have to release them. I find that I am actually kind of doing that more and more. Good. I just, I don't know if it's just getting older. Or it, if it's yes, and, and these are things that are just weighing you down. Yeah, it's, it's not doing me any good. It's not doing anybody else any good. So drop your baggage off and lose it in the baggage. Yeah. As hard as it is, um, our children are on their own journey. Yeah. We can't help them um, if, unless I, they ask us. Unless they ask us. Right. Or right. information. Right. Our mouth shut. I try. I, I try. Yeah. I think. I think it's my job, but no, they're adults. My kids are in their 50s. Oh, wow. Late 40s. My job is over a long time ago. <laughs> you never stop being a mom and not, you never stop caring. Yeah, but no. I mean, like, they want me to think the way they think. I never told them, you have to do what I think. I always told them, go search for yourself. So why would you turn around and tell your mother, well, you need to, mm, 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 mm. no. So I'm like, okay. Whenever you calm Everything, down. That's another thing you have to let go. Then. Right. Well, what, whenever you calm down. My husband had a dream that they came to us, both of the girls, and they were crying and they were saying they were sorry. They were sorry for everything they threw at me, everything they did. I kind of look at it and I'm like, these are not my kids. <laughs> this is not how we were growing up. Why is all of a sudden they're gone ballistic? They've gone way on the other side of the court. <laughs> I know. It's like, you didn't even ask me. You just assumed this, this, and this. 
Anyway, I won't get into it. It's politics. I, it's I know everything. I we have the same problem with a few it's, of us. And I don't know if it's just that generation. There are 30 and one. the other one's going to be 32 this year. As it goes, it's the school. I'm like, they have their own mind, you know, and they're older. I just don't get it. It just kind of like, it just kind of blows my mind. It's sort of like, uh, yeah, I don't know you guys anymore. You know, you said that to me and I'm like, uh, yeah, I feel the same way about you. I don't know who you are. Next time you see him, why don't you just give him an oak? An, I what? forgive you and give him an oak. <laughs> give him a hug. Oh, um, a hug. Well, that's what I feel like I would do. I think I'd start crying. Just hug him and say, shut up. Don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> just let me give you a hug. Because I really, I do miss them, but you know, it's like, huh? they have free will the, just like I do. Can you feel the energies, by the way? <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, my God, it's nine o'clock. It's 11 o'clock here. Well. It's actually midnight. Where are you on the West Coast? You, you I'm too. In Arizona. We're in okay. Arizona. Yeah, we're changing the clocks tonight. That's right. Yeah. So you're going to lose another hour. <laughs> we'll, we'll be Pacific time. We don't change our clocks here. Oh, good for you. I wish they would stop doing that. I just think it's stupid. Arizona has never changed clocks. Good for them. Everybody else should follow suit. I think it's just, I just think it's ridiculous. The day is still as long as the day is. It's changing so the time. Is screws up our schedule next week because um, we're going to be our ch- our clocks change and you guys don't. We're uh, so like right now it's eleven, but it's actually twelve here. Where are you? I'm in Western Pennsylvania, just north of, um, halfway between Erie and uh, Pittsburgh. Okay, so you're in, yeah, but. Eastern, Eastern no, I meant, I meant Europe doesn't change their clock yet, so that their schedule for next week's webinar is what I meant. Okay. No, I was asking, I was asking somebody over there too, and she said, I don't know when we're changing it. But I was a couple of cards, by the way. Yes. All right, get to ready, start. get set. I haven't got the religious tarot card anyway. <laughs> the uh, what's that? What wait? What's its name? Alistair Crowley. Tell him when to stop now. <laughs> well, it's another thing I could never take to my mother's house. I, I've got, I've stop. got the. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I've got the Alistair Crowley set. Ah! So, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Original set. I got that in '74. Yeah. Did you sister. throw it in the trash and let it burn? <laughs> no, he's all right. He's... Oh, look at that. You need some uh, connect with uh, frequency and you need to do some meditation. And in that, cards just go, don't they? They really go. Mm-hmm. So when your mind's fuzzy, which it is, it feel, feels like it's fuzzy anyway, calm it down. Hear the angels. Oh, no. I mean, calm it down. Hear the angels with meditation. And if you add music to it, it's it's all in one. Oh, I do that every. Actually, I do that almost every day. Play that music. Yeah. Just the music, just to. I, I'd uh, I'd listen to uh, a thousand hertz music. A thousand hertz. Angel, uh, angel, yeah. Oh, an, okay. Angels, a thousand hertz, or something like that. Or is it eleven hundred? Okay. <laughs> you falling asleep, honey? No, I'm fine. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. First time yeah. with you guys. <laughs> thank I you. Enjoyed it. I tell you what, see, I look like it's a glow coming off you. It's like light. Oh! Coming off you. It is. It's light coming <laughs> off you. You probably got the sun, but that light is very, very upward. Ah. Yeah. No, it's like eleven o'clock at night, so that's my lamp. Like and this lamp. is my laptop, so that's why the picture is fuzzy because it's yeah, but it, it crappy looks like camera. It's coming off you. Yeah, and all right, go this way. Laptops. You got light coming off you. Are you feeling I Leslie? Feel, uh, good. I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got I'm one more. To. We've got yeah, one we've more got anyway. One more. Um, yeah. Cindy, go Hi, Cindy. All right, Bye. I'm Thanks, leaving. Susan. Thank you. Bye. I've Cindy. got to go. <laughs> that's amazing. That light coming off you. That's not that's not the light from around. That's off you. Yeah, it wasn't your light light. <laughs> it was a nut. Oh, wait, was... I see something here. It's light. It's light yeah, coming it's off. It's light here. coming off of you. Yeah. So I can do this, like Jesus. Yeah. Father, forgive them because I just can't. What it is. It, it's, <laughs> you have to. Yeah, we, we, me and me, Deb and Rick have unblocked you. Yeah? 
and we've made your light shine. Aren't we good healers? <laughs> Susie Sunshine. Just call me Susie Sunshine, okay? okay. That's <laughs> amazing. It is really amazing, though. Those I can see it. I can actually see it. Yeah. That's really weird. Forgive now. <laughs> forgive. What does that make me think of? I'm just going to look at it. <laughs> and then I'll leave. <laughs> All, right. All right. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Um, well, uh, the same thing, you know, pain in the neck. But uh, I, what I get is that, you know, the RV is the pain in the neck and I got to get it fixed and sell it and it's just lining all that up with um, the right energy. Oh, haven't, been, haven't, haven't you been doing this for a while? Yeah. So <laughs> it's under warranty, but I have to get all these things fixed and uh, waited two months for an appointment. And I don't, after I saw these reviews and other things, it's like, oh, do I really want to go there? So I'm just trying to figure it all out. Um, there's a guy, what's his name? That is it Steel? What's the RV guy that moved to Florida from here? Andrews. Andrew, Andrew Steel? I don't know. I have to take it to somebody that does Jayco's because it's under warranty. No, he, so just, I, he, he just is a, he, he knows all these RVs. He just moved to Florida. Um, I think if you, he does YouTube videos and, um, Send it to her. He would say he would. Pro I'll I'll try and look it up and um and he would at least guide you to somebody good. And he he just okay. moved from Arizona to Florida. Um, he he's really a nice guy and um he would at least guide you to a, a place that is not going to rip you off and is not going to um take your money. You know what I mean? Or or especially if it's under warranty. Waste. Yeah. They're just. It's just a. It's it's such a racket. It's a waste of time and energy, but. Yeah. What am I going to do? So at least I can okay. give you his name yeah. and you can at least um, okay. send, him, send him some kind of an email. But uh, yeah, he's a nice guy. His his um, class A um, said I've got caught on fire on on the interstate moving to Florida. Oh gosh, it's a really yeah. sad story. And their cash was in there. Their cash, all their cash from oh. moving and selling everything was in. Oh. Wow. Yeah, so it was a really sad story. Really sad. Oh. Anyway, but they're, they're in Florida now, in their yeah. RV, in another RV. Yeah, and I started looking for homes, but nothing's feeling right. So I'm just going to keep moving until I find my location. I I'll just Where head north. Like, well, um, now that it's getting hotter here, I don't, I don't know if I can, you know, it's going to get hot soon. I don't know if I can handle it for the summer. So <laughs> we're moving to Florida. Are you? <laughs> We keep going back and forth. Um, the prices are ridiculously high. Well, we're moving in with our, our granddaughter and her husband bought a place in uh, Trenton. Trenton. I keep forgetting the name of the town. Trenton, Florida, outside of Gainesville. Population, oh, yeah. population 2000. Oh, nice. Small town. Well, it's it's one, 1. 1.6 acres, so we're going to have a, oh. gonna grow food and you know, our own food. And, they do have one stoplight. <laughs> Perfect. That sounds nice. Good so, for you guys. Anyway, um, that is what we're in the process of doing: selling this place and moving there. Nice. But I will miss Arizona. Um, well, good luck with all that. Thanks. And it's funny when I was uh, when you guys were sending healing, my neck started feeling better. So maybe I just needed to just be in some like-minded energies. I think um, you have to release. And know that everything's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. Yeah, right. I, I tell myself that, you know, if I don't have the place yet or the answer, I haven't found it yet. So solo travel you gets can't, You quieted. can't force it. You, have, you can't force it. Everything's going to happen the way it's supposed to. And you're going to be where you're supposed to be. And not before it's time. Because when you try and do it your way, things get screwed up. That's you, true. You have to do it the way it's supposed to happen and you have to yeah. let your guides do your path for you tell them to find your joy find your place give them a job they can't do it unless you ask okay uh, yeah i'll hand it over to them i don't have to figure it out i'll put it that's yeah. their job they know what the future they know what what's ahead we don't and they know what you're what you're where you're supposed where you're supposed to be and where you're supposed where you will be happiest you don't because yeah we don't have our memories you know, that's exactly what I do. I they haven't let me down yet. Okay, thank you. I needed that. Release it, and and believe me, it happens. 
and tell them that you have to trip over it because you're ditzy. That's what I call them. Because you'll miss it. I don't want to miss it. Make sure I see it. I trip over it. And they will make sure they show it to you in many, many different ways. It's right in front of you. Okay. Thank you. How do you feel, uh, Cindy? I've sent some energy. Yeah, it feels a little better. It should feel a lot better. You just you have to release it now. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you.